Chumbas, and thank you for tuning in to Displaced and Disorderly, a cyberpunk red story here on Carrying Comfort Studios. I'm Dave, and I'm the Game Master for Displaced and Disorderly. Cyberpunk Red takes place in a tough and grim world where style is more important than substance, attitude is everything, and the brave, or some would say foolish, live on the edge in a world shattered by the fourth corporate war. And speaking of living on the edge, I'd like the players to take a few moments to introduce themselves and their edge runners. I'm Derek, and I am playing Mock the Tick. Both our pronouns are he, him. Hello, I'm Lonhi. I am playing Rose the Rocker Boy. Both our, her, our, both our pronouns are she, her. Hi, I am Rosie, and tonight I am playing Small Fly the Tech, and our pronouns are she, her. And you will also be meeting my dog, Mutt. Hi, I'm Zoe, pronouns they, she. I'm playing Bait the Media, pronouns she, her. And I'm Wes, and I'm playing your med tech, Gauze, who so happens to share pronouns with me, and they're both he, they. Hi, everyone. I'm Leslie, and I'm back for part two. Uh, I will be playing Triple the Solo. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Now, before we dive into tonight's game, I'd like to state that this is a game that will feature violence, body horror, psychological and possibly physical torture, psychological manipulation, strong language, and sexual situations. Now, if my players are ready, it's time to head out into the world of Cyberpunk Red, displaced and disorderly.
<laughs> what were we children about? <laughs> we're live. <laughs> All right, welcome back. All right. Uh, pardon the crew here. We have a little uh, off-camera Star Wars Jar Jar Binks discussion. And how he was the best ever. Justice for Jar Jar. <laughs> All right, so when we last left, the group had acquired their transport for the job as well as some equipment that they're going to need. Uh, so we'll zoom in on Triple and Mock in the van. So where are you heading, you two? Uh, let me message the crew and see where we're meeting. Yeah, that's a good idea. I gotta tell the gotta tell the net runner where to meet too. Yes. All right, so I shoot a message. Hey guys, where are we meeting? There's a noodle bar down the street. I would assume that we could probably meet outside of. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. We have to get in there, though. We have to get back into this into Center City, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All, all right. right. So, so yeah, you. unless anyone's doing anything super special, we're gonna say that you all meet up at the ramen bar. Rico's ramen. Rico's ramen. Rico's ramen. Hopefully, there's a kung fu tea right next door. Um, <laughs> All, All right. right. We got there everything. you are. All right. So you guys ready? Everything good? Um, Storyteller, is my Netrunner friend here? If I message them the address? I also don't remember the name. I'm going to be honest with you. Zeno. Zeno. Zeno is the name of your Netrunner friend. I think that's Xenon, what... yeah. Yeah, Xenon. Okay. There you yeah. go. Yeah. My apologies. Uh, use... See cool. uh, my character enter with a, like, you know, looking like her, herself, but she also has with her a new friend. It looks like a mechanical dog that's roughly the size of a Great Dane. And it has, I'm going to give it, like, sort of big red doggy eyes. Uh, and it's just right next to her. And it's like little mechanical tongue is sort of like out like it's panting. I gave it a tongue? What the fuck Aww. is that? It's when so did you cute? get a dog? <laughs> I built it! Nice. What's its name? Its name is Mutt, stands for Mobile Urban Terrain Tracker. I'm gonna be real, I absolutely hate that thing. That's just that's just cruel. Why would you call, actively call it Mutt? Mutt's like a derogatory term for fucking dogs. Like what? Why would you? Why would you call it mutt? I, I don't understand, mate. I almost completely forgot that I was from Australia for a second. I mean, <laughs> completely honest with you, but we got back to it. One, one foot in front of the other is what we're doing right now. I'm getting into the character. I apologize uh, for, for this heist that we're about to do. And there's a fucking dog in front of me. Is that a dog? Is that what I'm going to call it? Is it a dog? Is it it's a like monster? the cartoon, man. Like Dino Mutt. Oh, don't, don't bring up Dino Mutt. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. You gave it a tongue. Why did you give it a tongue, mate? So that it can like <laughs> give doggy kisses. Why Mutt, do I need to? Mutt, go go lick him. If and it walks over to, to lick you. That okay? You know, yeah. yeah you gonna... just hear this like metal clunk. Yeah, this beast just come toward. Just starts walking towards you. You just, you just see like gauze get up on a seat and pull out like two pistols and just go. All right, look here, mate. Okay, look. If that thing tries to give me a doggy kiss on my face, it's gonna get its tongue caught in my beard because I, I, it's hair and that's metal and that, that doesn't react well. I, I, get away! Oh, oi, oi, oi. Are you scared of static? I'm you not... pull out your guns and you can tell this thing is starting to get like the eyes narrow, like the red in the eyes narrows, almost like it's getting ready to attack. Like it's tracking your motions now. <laughs> Yo, put the guns away. The dog does not like the guns. I don't yeah, like this we're... robot dog. Please put your guns away. Puts the guns away. <laughs> Swiss the hands are like, pull it down, down boy, down boy. Hey, uh, hey. Bait, bait crouches down in front of the dog and just holds out her hands and says, it's okay, we're friends. Hey, Mutt. Yeah, do you, uh, trying to scratch its ears. Small fly, do you designate, did you designate these individuals as friendlies? These individuals are friendlies. Okay. Somebody said scuba. 
so it doesn't try to shoot me. It will not. It will not good, good, good. aggress unless you do something that it thinks is meant to hurt me. Oh. I wasn't pointing the guns at you. I was pointing the guns at it. I'm squishy. I yeah, didn't, it didn't like that either, though. Didn't like that you pointed the guns at it either, because it probably doesn't also want to get shot. I don't like you coming into my personal space there, man. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, I, per I do not blame you at all. It's so cute. What are you? What are you it about? absolutely is not cute. Yeah, it's not all cute. Right. We have uh, very different definitions of cute. All right. So, so this heist. Right, we should get down to business. Can we use like code words or something right here? We're in the middle of a ramen bar. Yeah. All right. All right. I feel like first I things to get first, y'all. First things first, guys. The van is not regular. We have to come up with an excuse for it not being regular. My idea is that the company finds it cheaper for me to maintain the vehicle myself. Uh... And I'm somewhat of a gearhead, so I modified it in my spare time. It's kind of like when the postal service said that the post the postal workers had to bring their own cars to work. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, from the outside, the van looks fair, looks normal. Like, all the mods they did to it mm -hmm. aren't noticeable. It's bigger. Like, the front end is bigger. Yeah. But, like, that's, that's probably, like, you don't see a reason for that to rouse suspicions. Okay. Like, it's just the front end's bigger, you know that kind of stuff but like it's not showing armor plates or anything like that that's all sandwiched in between the actual yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. metal of the out uh, of the outer shell okay cool cool all right do we have everything else that we need i think so Weapons. i think i got everything covered explosives masks I got, got masks. I got all that crap. I got. I asked for my person to get all that stuff, so I think I'm covered. Okay. The important thing is that we're able to sneak it in without it being caught. Because if somebody registers that we have a bunch of masks and guns in a bag, in the middle of a janitor or like a maintenance worker kind of deal, then it's no fly zone. Hmm. I've already come okay. prepared, and you're gonna see guys pull out a tool bag. But like opens it up and it's got all my medical my first aid kit inside of it but it's got like tools on top of it just to like make it i've got all my stuff it's in a personal tool bag okay pulls out a ball cap puts it on tries to look as blue collar as possible all right xenon do you have everything you need xenon nods okay to describe xenon xenon is in like a net runner suit uh, with like lightning bolts all around it. Uh -huh. um, full face mask, so you don't see this person's face. Got it. Perfect. Very um, it's got one of those. It's got one of those like digital like LED screens almost, so it can project faces. Definitely a maintenance person. A hundred percent. Yeah. No worries. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna be just cheeky. What? So here's the thing um that i should tell you all about i was exploring some alternative routes to help get us inside just in case this whole thing didn't pan out uh -huh. and i did get myself hired for a kid's birthday party you some kind of clown you know what it actually pays really well so maybe some point i'll explore it a little bit more they gave me a thousand eddies up front that ain't so bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got paid a thousand eddies up front to be a clown? <laughs> yeah. They're That's gonna give me a rent. thousand if I show up, what? but... What? Why are we doing this job again? Wait, what are we getting paid for this job? <laughs> and now it comes up. <laughs> I the job. Well, I don't... I, I don't think y'all negotiated that at all, so... We didn't negotiate it at all. No, 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 but we're already halfway through it. We pr how much do we get back? So, triple. Triple. Hi, darling. Hi. Uh, how much are we getting paid for this job here? Just curious. Yeah. Are y'all having this discussion right in the ramen bar, by the way? Yeah, no, 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 okay. no. We, we, we have a mechanical <laughs> dog in down here, and we have somebody wearing it with an LED face mask. Uh, we, we're far past. Yeah. We're past being subtle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Did you if anybody this? looks over here and tries to like snoop in, I will give them. I will shoot them a dirty look, though. It'll <laughs> so be like that. Dog. It'll be like that scene in Heat in the diner. Where the they... pay is about the pay is about eight thousand eddies. Total, each. Yeah. Total. Wait. I think storyteller. Three, I think storyteller. Two, <laughs> What's that? Three, is it eight thousand each, four, or is five. it eight eight thousand total? Total. Total. You have a certain you have a certain limit you can pay them to. I have a limit that I can pay them to, but that's that's a total. That's not individually, right? That's not right, even two thousand total. That's not even two thousand eddies each. I'm about to go get my ass filled with lead for less than two thousand eddies. Well, I mean, you all didn't have to have a net runner. I had to go find my own net runner. Is the net that was runner, cost out of my own pocket? Net, I have to pay. I have to pay them too. Is the net runner getting paid out of the eight thousand? Not that eight thousand. That's yours. So there's another eight thousand. So you say you tell <laughs> you have sixteen thousand eddies lying around, and we're only getting eight of it. Is, is it he getting eight thousand to himself just because he's a no? Net no, you, mis you misunderstood me. Runner. Shut the fuck up. You misunderstood me. He's yeah, not getting see, eight thousand eddies. You see Xenon like across the match It's just eight thousand question mark. No, we <laughs> negotiated a different price for them, but I took it out of your your pot. So eight thousand is what you're getting paid. I'll have you know, this is not a market to be stingy in. All right, there's a labor shortage. All right, I'll tell you right now, Miss Triple. Do you think I'm being stingy? Do you think I'm being stingy? I don't think I'm supposed to be walking into a place that has its own army. Except, mind your own fucking business, mate. That has its own fucking army for less than two thousand eddies. All right. Now I'm counting this one, two, three, four, five of us. All right, two thousand eddies each. Ten thousand. Can that make it within your budget? Give me a better reason why I should pay you 10,000 eddies. I will snort some sriracha sauce right now up my nose. <laughs> Do the wasabi. Do the wasabi. I'll bump it up to 10,000. Do that big ball of wasabi right there, and I will give you 10,000. You 10, want me 000. to put that big ball of wasabi up my nose? Yes. For 10,000 eddies? Split amongst yeah. us. Yes. And it does not dip into Xenon over here. No, no. Thanks, Xenon, I think you're a lovely person. I like your whole look here, but you know. All right, fine. Yep. You, the the 10,000 to split between all of yous will not change Xenon's pay. Game Master, mm -hmm. I'm going to shove this big old ball of wasabi up my nose. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... uh, bait, bait starts recording. <laughs> Man shoves wasabi up nose. I'm sure we can find a video on that. A video of it on Google. I you just can wanna... probably make a sick TikTok. You can make a yeah. sick TikTok, yeah. Make a TikTok out of it. Uh, I just want to say, uh, shout out Steve-O, not gone and not forgotten. Um, just vibing. So, uh, it hurts. A lot. <laughs> Ah! You are in pain. <laughs> Give me a where's this torture drugs roll. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering when I was gonna be able to use this skill because I have a base of eight in it. So no. uh, that is a fifteen. Seven plus okay. eight. So yeah, it hurts a lot. You don't take any damage, but you manage to power through it. At one point, after like like banging his foot against the floor and just like tears streaming down his face, red eyes, just shaking and staring at Triple. I did it. It's ten thousand eddies, mate. That's worth that's worth ten thousand eddies to me. So. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even fucking hit, mate. I'll tell you right now. I so ten thousand eddies to split between the lot. Not including Xenon, that's right. This is the deal. Not including Xenon, no. Oh, fuck. Xenon's got their own pay. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Uh, everyone's agents go off and they get a video of <laughs> God snorting the wasabi. Anybody want to put, anybody wanna put 100 eddies that this goes viral by the end of the night? <laughs> I got you. I was already about to post it. No. <laughs> it's already you. You thinking about it, and it's already up there. And you, Zenon's face mask just lights up with a thumbs up. Thanks, buddy. I figured you had me covered. I would show that to everybody I know. <laughs> you gonna tell them how much it costs you too? Like how much you get paid for it? No. Get an extra two grand out of it for That's your whole for me. team. That's for me. I you say so. I'm such a team player. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I think I can smell colors now. Oh god. 
<laughs> what does what does the color red smell like? It smells like this. <laughs> just gonna go and drink the rest of his. Yeah, no, fair enough. I think I deserve that one. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right. So, sir, er, wasabi snorting aside, is anyone else doing anything? Do we wish to progress? Um. Well. <laughs> Bait had started to say something before. Okay. <laughs> it went For this all went... Um, It's what kind of led into that. Just after that, Bait will go... Anyway, my point about getting hired for the birthday party... <laughs> going back to that real quick. Right, you got a clown gig. Right. Uh, I didn't plan on actually going to it. Although, the again, the Eddie's up front was pretty nice. And maybe in the future. But anyway, besi besides the point... Um, it is an inn, so if we don't all want to go in at once as, you know, janitorial staff, we can split up a little bit. I can take Xenon with me, say, like, they're my, like, assistant clown. Can you make a clown face on that thing, Xenon? You see clown faces come up. See? Perfect. Thanks. So we split up so we're not all together. Also helps with, you know, not being traced back in case things go south. Um... I can take some of the bags with me, like, full of masks. Ma kids like masks, probably, so if they see that, not as suspicious. Just saying, you know, we can... I didn't look at what kind of masks they were, so... Hard to say if they'll, they're kid-friendly masks. I really don't know. We should... Well, rich kids are weird. Fair point. Rich kids are very weird. <laughs> hey, honey, why is all these gift masks in this bag for this birthday no. party? Rich kids are weird, bro. <laughs> What an excuse! <laughs> what kind of clown are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna start asking people that just as a, as a what kind of clown are you? <sighs> oh, Gimpy the clown. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> that comment, Leslie Gold, bait the kink clown. <laughs> All right, we're back. <sighs> okay, I mean, honestly, just thinking from a career perspective, if you want to make that that transition from way to it to clown, you're gonna have to show up for this party. I'm gonna I'll tell you right now, somebody paid you a thousand eighties and you did not show up. Well, what time's the party at? Uh. That's a good question. Storyteller, do you remember what time the party's at? Uh, it's like 8 o'clock. It's actually taking place... It would take place before your heist. Like, before the heist. So Unless, Depending on what go. time you want to do the heist. You guys haven't really decided that yet, either. Like, what time you're going to hit the building. So you could, you could go start your secondary career and then meet us at the building. Uh, yeah. I guess I could do that. What are you gonna do for like tricks? Yeah, that's an important question. What are you gonna do for tricks? Uh, hmm. You know, that's a good question. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me look at the skills I have. <laughs> what if he had is, a uh, dog is bouncing? close up magic a skill? <laughs> close up magic is yeah. not an actual skill. I mean, there's contortionist. Yo, there is contortionist. Uh, am I a contortionist? Um, I'm not a contortionist. Or is that conversation? No, that's contortionist, yeah. Dance is a skill. Meh. I've got a six yeah. in dance. I mean, acting is a skill. Acting. Yeah, I guess. Crypto. Crypto. Yeah, can you, you know, can I you can, like Can you, like, bait, play an instrument? Bait, bait goes really quiet for a second and says, you know, I've been, I've been working on, like, a little bit of stand-up on the side, actually. Do like, kids like stand-up? I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's something, right? I don't, I don't think kids like stand-up. I, I think they like it when you get hit in the face with pies and you like do things with balloons, isn't it? Sure, probably. You know, again, I'm not actually a clown. This was supposed to just be like a way to get in. No, no, no. I, I think it's very exciting. It's very riveting that all of these eight year olds are going to be able to hear your jokes on gun control. It's going to be really great for them. <laughs> I mean, I can also do this and her hair starts like turning a bunch of different colors 
if I was eight years old, I would be instantly right? sold. Yep, yeah, sign see? me up. Perfect. I tell a joke, and then my hair turns cool colors, and the kids eat it up. Now, these are rich kids, so they might be a little bit different. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> They're into weird shit, remember? <laughs> Like hunting, hunting for sport. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Maybe that's why you on the front so they can hunt you to their property. Oh no! All right, we gotta. When it, so are we gonna do this heist at the same time or after the birthday party? Wait, is there gonna be cake there? Are we? All, let's all go. To are we all going to? I don't think we should. I do not want to go to this birthday party. I do not want to go to this birthday party. I idea. I got you. I can sing. Let's go. <laughs> That's all you had to say, homie. Look. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. let let's let you and Rose go do that. Mm-hmm. And, and we'll Xenon. The, and, and Xenon. And Xenon. And we'll we'll meet you at the building. Okay. Now, now question is, uh, small fly, are you going to be going inside yourself, or are you going to be, uh, you know? Are you going to be our uh, person in the chair? I mean, I don't have to go in with you to be useful, probably. Are you going to send that weird dog with us? No. Okay. <clears throat> Mutt would attract attention if- I just don't really want it near me, so that's why I asked. I no. mean- I hope you want him near you if I have to send him in to fetch you or anything. Maybe leave me for dead. Oh. <laughs> but I wrote a command for like fetch friendly and I'll I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That that's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Can you send Mutt to go fetch bait if that stand up if the stand up starts bombing on stage? Okay, oh. we can lay off the stand up. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up with airline food? Just pelted. Lettuce. When did they get real lettuce? <laughs> they have real lettuce and tomato and they're using it right now. <laughs> for waste. It's food waste. Nah, that's great. Okay. That's how that's how wealthy these kids are. Yeah. So let's let's plan on meeting at the building around like eleven PM. Eleven Sounds great. Yeah. great. I think Perfect. they'll have the eight year olds tucked in by that point. <laughs> Alright, so how are Bait, Rose, and Xenon getting to the center to center city? You don't have a vehicle. Um, I can drop you guys off to the Hummer. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> if you don't mind, Bach. All right, and I toss bait the keys. All right, let's go ahead and go to the Hummer. All right, yeah, you get there, drop them off. It's a right. lot of trust you're putting into to those three <laughs> driving your car. I I can drive. I have points in drive. Hey, it survived gunfire <laughs> from an armored vehicle, so it can survive bait the king clown. Enough. Fair enough. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> bait the king clown now with balloons. <laughs> <laughs> now with balloons. <laughs> Demand is high. Ball ons. <laughs> I can't um, type very well. <laughs> balance. Fantastic. Fantastic. Or, balance. or are they ball ons? I don't know. Anyway. Sick. Anyway. <laughs> Sick. So you go, you drive in. Um, you don't really get hassled once you tell them like what you're there for and they check mm -hmm. on a lit on their list. You're let in. Um, we're not going to roleplay this out. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> really? I, I was I was hoping for that. No. So, <laughs> you do adequately enough that you get paid the remainder of your money. And then it is time for you to proceed into the city to meet up at the building. Can... Can I roll something to see if I make a good impression? Sure. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess. Uh. I. Well, I guess. I don't know. Give me an acting role. Sure. I can do that. 
Where is acting? Under performance there it is. skills. Hey, I'm actually now. kinda good at that. Imagine a sea of third graders just waiting. <laughs> That's a twelve? Okay. Yeah, like I said, you didn't the audience reaction was mild at best. Mm-hmm. But you didn't bomb, and you got paid. Great. Perfect. <coughs> the parents uh, thank you for yeah, the parents thank you for showing up. Uh-huh. The parents are like, we wanted JoJo to see you up, but dancing with the uh, stars. <laughs> uh, bait bait is gonna give Rose uh five hundred of the Eddies for helping out. Nice. Xenon gets nothing. Xenon, well, Xenon's Xenon like, gets nothing. yeah, you see, like, you look at Xenon, Xenon's and, and the mask is like, eddies. the mask has a hand, like. How much are you getting paid for later? It's just like, that's my business. I'll give them, I'll give them 200. God damn it. <coughs> I'll get 300, whatever. I kept the thousand up front. It's fine. It's very important to note that, uh, you should always feel comfortable about talking with your employees about your pay, but you also don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you are arriving. You guys, the rest of you that weren't already inside Center City, <clears throat> the van gets through pretty much without incident. They just do a, like their typical security check on it, and you guys go through. I'm going to go ahead and use my shift tax, and I'm going to change my eye color. Okay. Uh, my eyes are typically like a nice little emerald green color, but I'm changing them to just dull average brown. Okay. So completely average. Yeah, right. I, I definitely am sporting different skin, hair color, all that good jazz than when we were there earlier. Okay. Alright, so you meet up. What do you do with the Hummer? Yeah, what do y'all do with the Hummer? Um, we... I might need that later. Yeah, we'll park it, we'll park it close by the offices. Okay. Um, I think that's a good idea. So it's, uh, if we need to make a run for it, we're able to, but not Ideally, not so close that it is suspicious. Okay. Alright, so who's all going inside? Uh, I'm going dress up, like, put on those coveralls. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. Uh, I assume that we have, like... I'm going inside. A push cart? Yeah, you guys have... You know, all your typical janitorial supplies, and what you don't have outside, you can actually get in a janitorial closet once you're inside. Perfect. I'm gonna let somebody mm. else handle the talking. That's fine with y'all. <laughs> I have already talked to this front desk person. Right. Yeah, I can mm. I can go inside with you. There's a rear entrance for janitorial staff. You guys do know that from your oh, own research. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we're definitely mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so I know I said that Muck wasn't going to go with you guys, but do you do you want to bring him in and your your cart? He can like fold up, and if you need help, he can. That's actually no, no. I was actually I was giving you shit as gauze, but but Wes would absolutely love to have Muck come along. What a good boy, fantastic boy. Yeah. So yes. he like great boy, good boy. He climbs into like onto the cart and like basically collapse, like not collapses, but and not like transforms, but he manages to turn himself into basically a very heavy-looking metal box. Editor's note, add in the Transformer sound effect here. <laughs> <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. Such a good doggy. <laughs> and you see, uh, yeah, Xenon's, like, putting on coveralls, and he just, like, puts on... Like, his mask turns into, like, a projection of a face. That's not... Uh, that's so uncanny, Valley. It's... <laughs> Yes, you are Max Payne faces. The first Max Payne game. All right. And then he reaches into like a like a satchel that he carries, and just hands some IDs out to people. Oh, sick. 
clip that on. Perfect. He hands one to Smallfly as well. Like basically everybody on the team has an ID to get you into the building. Perfect. <coughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna wait in the car. Uh, I'll be with you guys through Mutt. And if you need anything from the outside, let me know. Sounds good. Let's get the show on the road. I'm gonna go through the front and chat okay. up the people behind the desk. Are you in and your coveralls? I, um. Well, I don't think I don't think we want everyone going inside at once, right? And bait isn't really a uh, sneaky hacker style. Uh, so my idea is that bait will go in um, just as a just someone going in there to like chat up the people. Um, okay. I need to think of a cover story real quick, but the idea is that she is watching them uh, for any signs that they have been keyed into something being wrong. Okay. So if they start being like, oh, like, you know, like giving each other looks and then like we need to go take care of something, she can alert the others. Okay. Before it's too late. So our weapons are hidden in the cart with uh, Mutt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The extra weapons you got for the job are broken down in the cart so you can reassemble them once you're inside. Okay. Your own personal weapons, that's up to you where they are. Mm. I left mine in I left mine in the car, in the truck, just in case. Okay. Yeah. A little something extra there for, for small flying case. Small cop small comes out with all your guns. Um the chat is wondering <laughs> where Tangerine is and Tangerine is on um is in like the back of uh triples coveralls. Good, good, good. Yeah. Absolutely. Tangerine Every Clinton crew has an exotic pet with it. Has an ocelot. It's a mascot. Yeah. It's a comfort animal. Yeah. Oh my god. It's emotional therapy ocelot. Oh my god. This is my service ocelot. Yeah. <laughs> Please do not touch them. Please do not touch them. They're working. They're working. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect because we're in a wealthy part of the city. You might be normal. Emotional support ocelots. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're here. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, you all badge through the back door. Like, Xenon just kind of casually walks up. Like, he has not a care in the world and just, like, hits the badge thing, opens the door, and walks in. All right, all right. This one cool motherfucker. Where do we go? Okay. Y'all walk in through. Does everybody use their badge or you just walk in? Use the badge. Use the badge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as you're badging in, he's kinda of pointing to a sign that says all employees must badge in on the outside of the door. Yes. Good, okay. good call, Xenon. <laughs> good job keeping your eyes peeled. Can't leave it propped open with a brick for a smoke break. Got it. Cool. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah. Like you walk in, it's a back room. Looks like it's probably, like, for janitorial staff. So you, there's a closet with more janitorial supplies in it. Sinks. Like a slop sink. Stuff like that. How is the door locked, by the way? I am going to, before I go in, yeah. I've, I have a, I have some tape out. How is the, yeah. how is the it's door a locked? It's a magnetic lock. Sick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put tape over the magnetic lock so the door closes. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't actually lock in case we need to get out and they do like a lockdown on the building. Yeah. I'm gonna like tape there on the magnet strip, like a yeah. bunch of tapes, layer of tapes on there. Yeah, you've done this before, so you manage to like you tape it off, whereas it'll close, not lock, uh -huh. but also like you make sure not to um, break the connection between the sensors, letting the guards know that exactly. the door is open. Mm -hmm. So to them, it looks like it's still like it's closed. Yeah. All right. Perfect. You also see there is a service elevator. Even and better. stairs. Vending machine, oh. coffee pot, you know, stuff. Okay. Uh, what floor are we supposed to be on again? Good question. Yeah, you uh, never you never actually I don't C -suite. You never, Yeah, C suite. C suite, corporate suite. Okay. All right. All right. 
So shifting back to bait. Uh huh. So you walk up. Um, there are just, sorry, just real quick. There are yeah. signs indicating that this is five and ten markets, right? Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a big like corporate five and ten markets sign on the Great. building as you're walking up. Great. I just wanted to make sure about that before bait goes in. Yeah, no problem. So yeah, <clears throat> so you go like the doors don't open. Mm -hmm. Are they locked? So like they normally would open automatically as you step uh -huh. or, like as you walked up, but they're not opening as you step up to like the appropriate area for that to happen. It's later. Yeah, it's later at night. Yeah, it is eleven. It's, like... Um. Okay, that's fine. Bait will use Maybe. her badge to open the doors okay it will not work well that's unfortunate. it gives you that like red like a red light bait knocks okay so you knock on the glass <laughs> um what you see is basically a security guard that looks like they were probably asleep with like a paper on their chest and he's uh -huh. kind of like Just a big smile and a wave. And, like, you see the hand, like, reach down by the desk, and you hear, er, and the doors open. Oh, wow. Okay. Can, uh, I, can I help Yeah, Bay walks in and immediately starts talking really fast. Hi, I'm so glad you opened the door for me. I was worried that I had missed everyone. Uh, I am a reporter. I'm working on a local interest piece for, for a, a, a this is me remembering five and for five and ten markets and i was really hoping i could maybe set up an appointment or something or maybe even talk to you you know local security guards is it's a very interesting oh, topic whoa, to, whoa, to hold on, hold on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. stop it's 11 o'clock at night is it really what are you doing you know, here I've, I've just been working all day just lost closed. track of time no one's here but you're here. Well, because I'm a guard. It's, you know. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Why are you here? You can tell this guy's still like half asleep and uh -huh. um if I look do a quick glance around me. Are there any like cameras pointing oh, yeah. in this room? There are. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah, you definitely see like the standard like little black half ball. Uh-huh. Um and there's the banks of elevators, like I described earlier. Yeah. This may have been a bad idea, but it's fine. We're in it. Um, like I said, I'm working on an interest piece for uh, uh, five and ten markets for for a local a local screen sheet. Um, you know. Trying to set up an appointment or even interviewing a security guard such as yourself would be uh, really just just trying to hit a quota, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, and while she's talking, she's going to shoot a quick message to Smallfly. Okay. Saying, uh, is there any way you can scramble the cameras in this room? Smallfly, you know there's absolutely no way you can do that from outside. Dang. Uh, 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 I'm trying to decide a good way to do it. Um, can I, I didn't think about sending in a small drone just with bait, because... <clears throat> If, if I had known that you weren't going in with the others, I would have sent in, like, one of my, my tiny ones, like, on your lapel or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if the GM is okay with that, it That's can, fine. like, detach. And... Yeah, I mean, you guys have done this enough that you would have talked, to, you would have discussed mm -hmm. what was going on beforehand. So, I'm fine if you have a drone, one of your smaller drones with bait. Yeah. Uh... So that will detach, fly off, and find camera, and see what it can do. Okay. 
Um, the drone can't, I mean, you know, there's a cam, like you've been like the drone's been inside before, you know, where the cameras are in this, mm -hmm. in this room. Mm -hmm. Um, but they can't act like the drone's not able to access the cameras because yeah. they're, you know, sealed inside of another, you know, inside that like ball. Um, you know, to access, to get access to security cameras, you would have to find the actual security, like the office controlling the cameras. All right. Then I, uh, shoot back to bait, not without a lot of trouble. Okay. It was worth a shot. She'll shoot back. Would have been nice if it was that easy, huh? Not in fly. All right, shooting back to the other crew. What y'all doing? Gauze. I was going to wheel the cat to the elevator. I was going to start pulling out weapons. I was going to start assembling an assault rifle. And like has like a strap, and it's not like a, a, like a crossbody strap. It hangs over one shoulder, so it can just hang there, and then you can grab it. When it quickly, and then takes off the ball <coughs> cap, folds it up, puts it inside the, the coveralls, and then puts on, grabs one of the masks out of the... All right. I want to see what kind of mask we got. Yeah. So you grab, it's like a rubber Halloween mask. Okay. And it's John F. Kennedy. Amazing. Who's that? You know who that, you know JFK, because you oh, know who the JFK gang is. JFK gang is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even better! Ah, this is clever. All right, perfect. Yep, gonna go ahead and put that on. Oh shit! Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, not a bad fit. <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, Didn't ask for this. Uh, ever the student of American history, uh, Gauze is gonna hold the hands up like that, like it's Richard Nixon, <laughs> president, long president. Oh, I'm not a crook. I, I don't know if that's the dude, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I flunked history in high school, so I'm not the person to ask. Yeah. I did cars, man. Does anybody know the United States president? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not important. All 38 <laughs> of them? Yeah. Is that when the time one split? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna start assembling and then be like, point two, like, let's get to it, fast and easy, quick and dirty. Yeah, you see, right. um, like, it's weird, because Xenon reaches in for a mask, even though he's wearing a mask, and puts it on. And his is Michael Myers. Ooh, what so, one what, uh, what one does Triple get? So you pull it out, and it's like, at first you're like, ooh, this is weird, and it's fuzzy and orange. And you put it on. And you know, because you're from Philadelphia, this was an old uh, mascot for an ice hockey team. Hell yeah, I got the gritty, gritty mask. Yeah, you've got a gritty mask. Lives off of stale hot dogs and beer. Yeah, from underneath I got the, the old stadium. I got, I got the gritty mask. Nice. Terrifying. What'd I get? What's that? What did I get? Ah, what did you get? So you get another president. This one is white hair, kind of a bulbous nose. Okay. Man, I got Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that one's Santa Claus, homie, but you know. Yeah, it just comes separate. Uh, yeah, it looks like Santa to me. It just comes with a separate, you know, like it was like a sexy Santa. It doesn't have a beard. It doesn't have a it beard. It's, it's like the Santa remix. Summer Santa. Summer Santa. Summer Santa. Yeah, get the tan. Look at me. I got my elves. Yeah. I got my reindeer. Get, get the tan. Yeah. Catch some waves. Say, me and the homie Rudolph. That's right. If you say so, I don't On think... On a beach. That's Santa. On a beach. <laughs> it's Wicked Santa by my summer, dude. Come <laughs> on, hang ten, Rip God. Yeah. Sorry, all right, apologies. <laughs> I'm I'm very nervous to see what I'm going to get, but, hey, you know, let's just... <laughs> so you pull out a mask and... um. It's dark hair, kind of like a scruffy beard. It's still a rubber Halloween mask, but a scruffy beard with, like, cuts on it and stuff. It's basically a John Wick mask. Yeah. Who's John Wick? I don't know. For the <laughs> audience, it is John oh, Wick. Okay, got it. <laughs> I think it's like a, it looks like an old action movie guy. It looks like an old action movie guy. 
I don't know, like uh, like that Scarface or whatever. King Arthur. I don't think that's an that's action Scatter movie guy. I think that's like medieval time <laughs> shit. From the hit movie Excalibur, yeah, great action film. And then you see Xenon like putting something together, and he's basically using a hand crossbow that he just kind of hangs from his belt. Oh, Xena on some wild shit. <laughs> Where did you <laughs> come from again already? He's my old friend. Medieval times? Yeah. No, he's my old friend. Listen, y'all didn't have a net runner. I brought someone. Yeah, you can see there's something scrolling, like, on the mask through inside. The eye <laughs> through the eyeballs, but you can't read it. Can't fucking read that shit. I'm mm -hmm. going to be completely honest with you, Xenon. <laughs> I brought one thing of mine in the cart. Okay. My grapple gun. Nice. <laughs> I keep telling you, you're never gonna use that thing, mate. You're never gonna use it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, trust me, it's gonna. We be used that in the first session. Well, exactly. But yeah, no, but he he has never used it on any job that we've ever been on. I'm just gonna say, right? <laughs> Everybody else has used your grapple gun before. You why don't you listen? It's for combat. Get it like purpose. attached to you. Why don't you just get a grapple hand? Like, why do you? Why do you still use a gun? Listen, the only, <laughs> the only enhancements I have. It's my tool hand. And then he, point, he points, he sticks his finger up, and a flathead screwdriver pops out. You, oh, come on. Oh, God, Mark, you've got to let me put a grappling hook in your hand, mate. Please. We'll see about it. We'll see about it. <clears throat> he just pulls the mat. The, the mask has been, like, on top of his head, flopping around all over the place. And he goes, all right, let's get this shit done. And goes and pulls the mask down. Do you activate Mutt? Small fly? Uh, yeah, sure. Mutt will unfold himself and uh, sort of do one of those doggy stretches and uh, wag his little... Like, it's not like a Great Dane tail. It's like one of those little stubs, like more like a Doberman. Groovy. Um, This is too weird. It thinks it's real, y'all. I don't, I don't like this. It thinks it's, it's fake. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you say that, Mutt will look at you and go, fuck you. What? <laughs> Was it in its own voice or is it your voice? This is amazing. Man. This is everything I've ever wanted. Donald Wade got some too. <laughs> I'm still regretting all of this. All right. I don't, I don't, I still don't like it. I'm not a tech person. I'm going to pull the, uh, I'm going to pull the assault rifle up to my shoulder and I'm going to cock it round into the chamber, get it ready to go. All right, let's fucking rock and roll. Let's see this so thing. So you you ascend up the elevator. I didn't note this, but Triple does still have her shotgun. Cool. The Triple's got a shotgun. So it takes you, you know, about 30, 40 seconds to get up. Yeah, there's a button for C-suite, so you can just... Say so you get that, like, you know, elevator music for a little bit, and then the doors ping, and then just open. And it smells different to you guys in here. Like, it smells nice. Like, a little foresty. Man, they got the good smells in here. Yeah. Clean carpets. Uh, clean, clean carpet can only mean one of two things. They've got way too much money in here, they got something to hide. Or they've there's another cleaning crew here. Or both. Or both. All right, let's try to do this without having to waste any people. All right. <coughs> if we gotta, we gotta. Holy shit! All right. Uh, all right. The Hippocratic so, yeah. Oath? so yeah, you step out into <laughs> a very a large hallway. Um, the building up here, the walls are made of. Some sort of white, like, glossy stone that you've not seen before. Oh my and, God. like, heavy wooden doors are spaced out. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's take it very slow. Like, you say so. Hallway by hallway, check your corners. You don't need to call out, but hand signals if you see anybody, just wave. Yeah. Hold up how many. Um, and just an FYI, you know the elevator still had a few floors left, and there's also roof access through the elevator. Perfect. Mm. So there are a couple levels above you, a couple floors still above you, 
as well as roof access. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Uh, do you guys want Mutt to go ahead? Uh, sure. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Can't hurt. I'm going to get in the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna get behind Xenon. Okay. Uh, and uh, just to make it clear to storyteller, uh, like <coughs> much programming is all backed up, so I could like make another one when mm-hmm. I have time if something happens to Mutt. Yeah, he's uh, a program. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, Mutt's gonna go ahead and sort of like peek around quarters and stuff. But also, if, if anyone, like, sees Mutt, Mutt will be super friendly and make noise and uh, let them know. All right, give me a stealth roll for Mutt. Yes. yes. Mutt has his own stats. I just need to find them. Uh, would that be Dex? Dex? Uh, um, he should have skills that I gave you. Oh, stealth is 15. So, uh, D10... Yep, D10 plus 15. 15. 25. Alright. So yeah, like, you guys expect this metal monstrosity to move very loudly, and it's just super quiet as he steps around. And looks around. And, like, heads down to a corner at the far end of the hallway. Uh, Mutt peeks around. You can see there are two armed guards. Um, they're just carrying, like, pistols on their side. They look like rent cops Hats, white shirts with, you know, clip-ons. Looks like the same kind of security officer down in the lobby. Uh, Mutt backs up and goes back to the, uh, the crew, however close they are, and, uh, sort of, like, taps or scratches the carpet, like, twice. Well, I mean, you could talk to, like, you have comms, and you saw what Mutt sees, so oh, you could yeah. see. Oh, no, no, that's a, that's a good point. Uh, like, there's two guards. Yeah, like, you saw two guards, like, basically patrolling yeah. that si- section of the hallway. Two red cops that way. Do we want to take them out? Definitely want to take them out. Did we grab flashbangs or anything like that? So no, no. I mean, it should be all in the bag, right? I was gonna say, I thought I got flashbangs. I thought that was part of our list for Hauser. Cutting back to bait. So, you're still conversing with this guard. He's become more awake as you've talked to him. Mm-hmm. But he's like, I mean, ma'am, I appreciate it, but it's 11 o'clock, no one's here. Um, you could come back tomorrow. Oh, is will tomorrow be more active here? Well, it'll be daytime and people will be working. I know it's a, you know, people here all the all week, seven days a week, people work. Okay, and Bait is just like nodding and smiling, um, and I guess at this point her goal is more to just try to keep this guy talking and away from the cameras. Um, okay. Or away from his, his post, I mean. Um, which I... I, Zoe, am struggling to find the words to properly articulate well, what I mean, she's we... saying. But but yeah. the, the, the picture in my head is that she is, at this point, changing tactics to um, just be very... Um, like super clarifying everything he's saying, like she's having trouble understanding it, just to make him like repeat himself over and over again. Like that uh, why sort don't of thing. You, um, so yeah, I mean, it seems like you know you're trying to distract this guy. So why don't you go ahead yeah. and give me a conversation roll? Okay. Oh, um, I forgot to say before, but Bait also has the um, she has the the techno hair, um, or tech hair. She also has chem skin, so like she has like completely changed her appearance for cool. this whole thing conversation i rolled the die and i forgot to look at what i have in that um that is a oh that's a 21 okay so yeah you are doing a fantastic job of keeping this guy preoccupied that he's not paying attention to the monitors or anything Mm -hmm. like that he's you've totally engrossed him to the point where like 
he's like he's not even sure what you're talking about at this point, but he's just like, uh huh, uh -huh okay. Mm -hmm. So like, you've you've been trapped this guy in conversation, so he's just not paying attention to anything but you. Perfect. Uh, Bait will send a quick message with her internal agent to the group text, just saying, "I've like I've got the security guy down in the lobby, kind of stuck in conversation. Hopefully, uh, any issues that come up, he won't be able to be an issue at least, or he won't be a problem at least." <clears throat> All right. So back to the other team. So you know there are two guards. So how do I want to do this? Yeah. Well, if we have the flashbangs, so we can roll the flashbang down the office, wait for it to go off, and then just hit them hard, and just start moving hard and fast. Or is there another hallway we should look down first? And... Yeah. So you know that like where you are right now is an outer hallway that basically runs the like outside, oh. effectively the outside of the building. There are offices. Like, when you look down the hallway, you know there are offices on your side as well. And those offices are probably looking outside, or, like, window offices. And then there are also, like, offices in the center, and there's another hallway that runs down those. So, I think it might not be a bad idea to explore some of the other hallways first before we start taking people out. So, we at least come up with a... We're not just picking people off loudly. So, we can try to just kind of outmaneuver them, then. Just move, mm -hmm. like, right behind I, them. That's not a bad idea, and then we figure out how many we actually have to knock out. Yep. Fine, all right. <clears throat> so, okay, so what do you, how do you want to see, are you just going to uh, send... I'll, I'll send Mutt. Uh, the other around. direction? Yeah, the other direction, and okay. Mutt, now that they know their security guards, uh, like, they do, like, the sort of army crawl once mm -hmm. they get closer to the corners. So that they're less yeah. obvious when they peek their head around. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ha I'll let you. I mean, I'm just gonna have you keep the stealth roll that you made originally okay. for Mutt. Um, so yeah, like he goes down to the other end, and you see there are a pair of guards coming towards Mutt. They don't notice him. Okay. Because he's just kind of looking around. Uh, two guards coming this way. Yeah, and you know, like they're coming. They're walking this way. And they may, you know, be turning the corner. We'll wait, we bro. might want to duck off into an office or something. Yeah. Okay. I have Mutt back up and go back to you guys. All right. So, yeah, what is the group doing? You're going to duck into an office? Yeah, duck into an office. We need to know specifically what, whose office we're trying to find, whose office we're, what we're trying to take shit from, take this info yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're looking for the office of Amanda Marquette. Yeah, Amanda yeah. Marquette. Yeah, as so. a senior vice president. Just, just go in there and just grab everything, copy everything. Great. Okay. So, yeah. Perfect. So, do you try to look for her office before yeah. avo while avoiding I, the guards, I, I, or do you just try to dive into any office? I think I think we should play leapfrog with the offices. Like, okay. like dive everybody into check a different to, check yeah. Up, yeah, and then be able to sneak into one. Yeah, like really fan out. Like, don't split up so that we're getting too far from each other, but like. So that we're yeah. within earshot if something starts going down. Yeah. Can any of you pick a lock or anything like that? Or is it just me? <laughs> Can I pick a lock? Let me tell you. When I have skills in larceny, uh... <laughs> I'm sure I can manage it. Yeah, I've got security tech skills. Yeah, shit, why not? Yeah. Pick, pick, pick lock. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. I got a base. Other, otherwise, not would do it. All right. I got a base of seven, so. So yeah, you can hear the footsteps, and you hear the guard. Like you can hear they're like ch talking, they're chatting amongst themselves now, and you can hear them getting close. Like, it sounds like they're getting closer. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can hear them. I'm gonna try the door to the office. Okay, right near the door me. is locked, but it does have a, a key, like a reader. Okay, a key reader. Yeah. All right. Like a card, like a card reader. I'm gonna go and swipe my card on it. Okay, it works. Perfect. I'm going to open up the door. There we go. Yeah. yeah, it opens up. You can see it's, you know, it's a desk, computer terminal. Yeah, nice, you know, nice little office. I'm just going to tap on my, like, on my agent kind of just tap our communicator and be like, use your key cards. And then... Where are the rest of you? Did you follow Gauze? 
Throw into that off. office? Packing into this one office. I think uh, Triple will pick one like across the hall, maybe like diagonal from that one. Okay. Are and not go one door are, down. Are the doors marked or anything? <clears throat> so, like in the rush, like mm -hmm. gauze in a rush to get through it just to avoid the guards, you didn't really look. No. To no. see. No. Um, so yeah, like um, everybody, give me everybody but gauze that's in up in the offices. Give me a luck roll. All right. Uh, I don't have a luck stat for Mutt. Do you Mutt, I use mine? Well, no, because Mutt's not going to be able to get into an office by himself. Fair. Mutt's going to have to slip into an office behind somebody. Right. So, you just tell me who Mutt's following. Uh, he'll, he'll stick with the other tech. Okay, so he sticks with Mock? Yeah, he sticks with Mock. Okay. I got a 13. All right. I got a an 16. 11. All right, hold on. Uh, Rose, you got an 11? Yes. Okay. What? Uh, Mock, you got a 16? No, I got a 14. 14. Yeah, no, it was a 13. 13. Triple? Triple got a 16. All right. So, yeah, you all kind of <clears throat> rush to get into different offices. Um, so, Rose, you, like, you know, Mock, you pop into an office that's very similar to the one that Gauze is in, just, you know. A nice executive office, but not like clearly this is not something like a senior V like a senior VP would have. Mm -hmm. um, same thing for um, Triple Rose. You go into the office and the f like you're like okay, and then you hear, right, "Can I help you?" And you see somebody at their terminal just kind of like looking up at you. Uh, hi. Um, I was. Hello. Um, can you come back later? Sure. Take all the time you need. I'm. Uh, I'm just why are you wearing that mask? Yeah, they just seem to now notice that. Like they looked at your coveralls, and now like, like wait. I'm wearing the mask because I. I don't want, hmm, I don't want my, my fans to know that I do this to get extra money to help fund my music and CD sales. And... Give me a perception roll. Roll me perception. Oh, oh no. <laughs> sure, this is fine. It is not Amanda Marquette's office. Okay. Small marriage. Got a 12. Okay. So, like, uh, okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm still working, so if you could uh, come back later, or I'll just tidy up and, you know, don't worry about it. No problem. You have a good night. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Weaves. <laughs> I'm going to take my assault rifle and leave him. Plus the door closed, leans against the wall, just <sighs> Um, you know you need you still need to hide because there are those guards are coming. Is there is we're gonna go to the room right across, I guess. Okay. Just... Yeah, you bat yeah, like you yeah, you badge through when you walk in. Similar to the other office, just nobody here. <sighs> so I got a question. <clears throat> yeah. If I were to access the terminal, could I find Marquette's office? Potentially. So I would have to do an electronic security tag roll? Yeah, like, it's password protected, so you would need to hack through the computer, pa like, to hack in to get through the password protection. We could probably ask Xenon to do that. You are, in the, you are not in the same room. I actually, I'm starting to, I'm kind of concerned. I'm in my room by myself, waiting until I can hear the guards walk yeah. past, and I'm like, wait, where the fuck is Xenon? Yeah, right? I was just thinking that. <laughs> where the fuck is Xenon? Uh, I don't trust that bastard more than I can throw him. I'm pretty sure I can't throw How him. How dare you? You're not in the room with me. 
I know I'm not. I can talk to myself in my accent if I want to. I, I'm gonna go over the comms like, hey, hey, is the uh, can the net runner find us the office? So as you're like as you're doing that, you all get like through the comms like on your agents, you get uh, like a layout of this floor, and basically highlighted is Amanda Marquette's office. It's in that center hallway. And it's one of four offices in that center hallway. I knew he was already working on it. Makes he just sense. went to a different. He just went to a different office. Makes sense. Than everybody. I want to uh, make sure to actually empty the trash, guys. Okay, okay I'll grab the trash. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm also right. gonna. Right, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm also gonna send to the group text. Um, be careful. Some people might still be working. Oh, I God. walked into Is an office mud? and there's a person. Is that, <laughs> Is that mud? <laughs> mud? What is it, boy? Somebody strapped in a well? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get by the door and wait and just, like, listen. Okay. Yeah, so you're listen like, you're by the door listening, and you can hear it's not your door, but it's coming, like, you can tell it's coming from further down, and, like, you hear that the telltale click of like the security reader opening like a door open like it opening a door and then like maybe like 10 seconds and then the door closes and then yeah another maybe like 10 seconds you hear that again so you're pretty sure the guards are now checking rooms for some reason i'm going to take the mask off and put okay. the baseball cap back on and I'm going to grab the the trash can, and I'm going okay. to I'm going to I'm going to take the stock off of the assault rifle, okay, and let that hang from my shoulder, and I'm going to put the assault rifle as far as I can into the trash can. Okay, I mean it's not you're not going to get it too far because it's one of those like office trash cans, so yeah. it's only about yeah. like yeah. yay big. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I want to be bent over. Okay, fiddling with it. We left the cart outside. <coughs> yeah, which is it's Even normal. Better. I mean, the yeah. cart would yeah. normally be left in the hallway. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's not unusual. Yeah. But yeah, I want to do that. All right. So, yeah. So, yeah, you're going to be the first door they get to. Yeah. Just how it, how it, how it happens to be. Um, so, yeah, you hear the door click open. Where are you? Uh, I'm standing beside the desk, and I have my, my like, the hand on the assault rifle, and I'm mm -hmm. rustling with the plastic bag. Like, okay. I'm, like, I'm tired. So, yeah. The door opens. Like, whoa! Hey! I'm gonna stand up. Give me an acting roll. Uh, <laughs> shit. All right. Here we go. Fantastic. <coughs> Where is acting at? Yeah, you all can hear this. That are in yeah. inside the building, up in the office. Like, that's a C-suite. All right, sick. Let's do this. Uh, spending a luck point is that a reroll? Uh, that... No, just adds two. Just adds two. I'm yeah, and you would that. normally spend. You would normally spend it before you declare it. You're going to spend before got the roll. It. Oh, okay, but got it. Go ahead, but go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. That's going to bring it to a fifteen. It was a thirteen original. Uh, originally, so. Okay, so yeah, you're like, whoa, whoa, and they're like, hey. Hey, fellas, though. Everything, you doing all right tonight? Yeah, just come pick up this trash. Some of these assholes don't know how to clean up after themselves, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Hey, uh, you be catching in them, uh, them old school vids on reruns? You be, they could be working these long hours up, put your feet up there, hey, hey, hey pals? Oh yeah, when we get a when we get a chance, like it's great. The guy downstairs, yeah, cut cuts the cuts the cameras for us, cuts the feeds. You fellas ever just... play poker? Yeah. Might have to cut me and some of the boys in on the next game, huh? Let's see. Yeah. You. Yeah, we got another game tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, can't wait to be there, fellas. Hey. He's like, all right, you, you know, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Take it easy, boys. And they just, you know. All right, I've got one. They close the door. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my agent. I'm gonna say they're checking offices. 
do janitor work. Yeah, so, like, you hear, like, the next person in line, we'll say, is, um, Mock. Mm -hmm. So, like, mask off, I've ripped my trash bag. So, I can just be like, hey, yeah, the trash bag is giving me shit. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, distracting. I, I've got, uh, Mutt has sort of, is the trash can big enough for Mutt? Oh, God, no. All right, then Mutt's Mutt like is... Mutt's like the size of Mutt is the size of a Great Dane, so he's huge. Right. He's, so he's very Mutt large. has like folded them himself back up into yeah. like a cube and is just well, kind I mean, of like behind a desk. Yeah, I was gonna say in his in his non cuboid form, he could easily take you know hide behind a desk. Okay, yeah, it's just you know I would say. Yeah. All right, see so, yeah, you, Derek. They check on you. Uh, go ahead and give me an acting role. <clears throat> okay, I'm a. Uh... I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow some luck on this. Okay. So uh, let's see. I got a ten. Okay. So you're like, rip the trash bag. Um, like, yeah, hey. Hey, man, what's good, man? Hey, man, this trash bag is giving me hell. Can I get through so I can get another bag out the cart? Oh yeah, no, no problem. Go ahead. All right, cool, cool. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep up the good work. Oh, yeah, you too. And as you're going to the cart, you hear the, the service doors open. Mm -hmm. And out step two guys in, like, tactical armor with, like, submachine guns and pistols mounted. They have, like, face masks on. They mm. just step out and look. Like, you! And they are directing that right towards you. Hey! Hey! Hey, come here. What's okay? Then you can all hear over. this. These guys are not quiet. Okay, so I walk. You over. walk over. He's like he holds something up, and it looks like it's 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 a face scanner. He's gonna start scanning your face. Where are they standing in relation to my door? Like literally outside. I mean, you can't see it, but this you can tell this is clearly like all three of them are like right outside your door. I am going to put the mask on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab my assault rifle and I have my boot ready to just like kick the door open. Like, door unlock, kick the door open and just start firing if I have to. I'm going to get so, real, like, it's going to get loud real fast. Yeah, so, Mock, are you doing anything before no, they do this? I'm, no, I'm complying with the face scan. Okay. Because they are going to blow me away if I do anything. And who knows? That, that we'll see how good that hacker is. <clears throat> that too. Unfortunately, Xenon was not told to put your faces... He had no way to get your faces in the system because oh he hadn't seen God. you. Oh, my God. So, yeah, they scan Let's your go, face. rock and roll. And it's like... <laughs> like, yeah. And they're like... Yeah, they get an... They try it again. Okay, as soon as Mutt hears the first, eh, like, yeah. he is launching himself, like, he's got, like, his his guns, sort of, no, I'll just have him, like, launch himself at the two guards, no reason to use a flamethrower or anything. Hive heavy weapons. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's right. gonna launch himself at the was, We are gonna roll initiative now. Yeah. Cool. I was gonna say, yeah, because I was gonna say, where are they in relation to Triple? Are they in front of Triple? No, so, like, where they came in at the doors mm -hmm. is where everybody was based. Yeah, so, Mutt is launching... Where... Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah, no, where... Mutt is launching himself at the Rent-A-Cops that were... Okay. Yeah. So, they're... he's launching themselves at the Rent-A-Cops at the door. Yes. Where he's in the room he's... at the room he's yes. in. Okay. So, yeah, to set the stage... So is my cat. The two heavily, like, the two, like, armed, like, we'll call them, like, the security operatives mm -hmm. are at the door that Mock, or that Gauss had gone into, which is the first door that anybody went into. Everybody else went successively after where okay. Gauss, like, to the right. You all just kind of went right. It was just choosing the weapon to use. Because the guards were coming from the left. That's all. Yeah, so when you come weapon. out, like, yeah, effectively, Mock will be between you and the security operatives, but not the guards if that makes sense yeah that makes sense yeah. okay yeah. all right so they are on a 
And is initiative just a straight d10? Plus reflex. Plus reflex, thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry for the yawn. There you go. Sixteen. Okay. 16. Hold on, everybody. You're in a rush. Sixteen, mock. You're on a ten. Yeah. Oh, Rose. Eleven. Somebody said sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, mut, mut's reflexes are better than mine. Uh, eighteen. Okay. Are you gonna do anything during this fight, or are you just gonna have mut? I'm piloting mut. Okay. Well, mut has his own, so yeah, he'll be on an oh. eighteen. Cool. Um. You can basically you can just tell Mutt to go into attack mode. Oh yeah, um, and then he'll Mutt he'll friendlies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like you tell him attack mode, designate who the baddies are, mm. or you know protect friendlies, and he'll fight to protect whoever you've designated. Cool. All right. Got a fifteen. Uh, Gauze. I got a fourteen. Fourteen bait. In case you want to do anything. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen during the fight. Okay, not one hundred and sixty-three. Um, and Triple, then... you're on a what? 15. 15. Okay. Bear with me as I put one more group on the board. You're good. And then I'll have the 16 for Swampfly's initiative. She's essentially just uh, keeping an eye on like to see if anyone else rolls up uh, anything heavier that she needs to intercept. Okay. Sorry. All right. So top of the order is, as it turns out, um, Mutt. So yeah, he just launches himself at one of the guards. So what are you having him do? Bite, claw, what? Uh, bite. Bite, two d six. All right. See, so yeah, you all hear this like metallic bark, you know, growl sound. Uh, what did he get to hit? Uh, so it would it be a d ten to hit, and then the two d six for damage? Yeah, two d six for damage. He rolls his d ten plus his melee stat to hit. Where's melee? It should be under skills. It's gonna be under uh oh, thank you. skills. Brawling. Uh yes, I see it. Uh so that's a seventeen to hit. Okay. Yeah, they weren't expecting this, so they are completely unawares so they can't evade it. Yeah. So go ahead and roll damage. Oh shit. That's a five, six, seven, eight damage. Okay. Yeah, he just takes a nice chunk out of, like, the back of one of these guys. And you just hear, yeah, you all hear screaming. Yeah, Mutt did not make a sound while he did this. Yeah. And that was Mutt. Uh, now, the security officers that were scanning Mock go. So, one pulls his weapon and just kind of has it trained on you, Mock. Like, he hasn't, he's not shooting at you. He's like, you know, don't move. Then they heard, like, they heard the guard from down the hall scream. And the other one kind of, like, like steps to the side of you and sees that. And is like, he just grabs his radio. He's like, we need backup now. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. All right. We're going Yo, loud. Yeah, C-suite. We're going fucking loud. All right. I'm assuming we all heard him call on his radio. Oh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. not... Yeah, he is Sick. not subtle about it. Um, and that's what he does, because he's not really sure he wants to shoot the guard yet. Uh, so that was 18s. They just went after the dog. So that moves us down to 16s, which is bait and small fly, if you guys... Yeah, you hear that call come down, mm -hmm. like on the guard's radio that's sitting there. And that just kind of snaps him completely out of your conversation. Yep. Uh, yeah, I got... I got something to do. Uh, bait 
is going to pull out her heavy pistol and hit this guy's head. Okay, so you're just going to clock this him pistol over the head weapon, with it? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll consider it a light melee weapon, so it'll do d6 with a with a pistol whip. Okay. Um. So yeah, oh. give me a melee. Not something I'm good at, I think. The point where I'm not 100% sure where it is. There it is. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. I'm better at shooting, but... <coughs> uh, that's an 8. Uh, you hit him because he's totally not expecting it. Oh, great. Till about a minute, you know, till about a second ago, he was distracted in conversation, and he's like, wait, what? Thonk. And you said a d6? Yeah. Uh, that's 3. Okay. So, yeah, you didn't really hurt him much, but he crumbles down. You figure you probably, you know, you knocked him out. Great. Perfect. Uh, do I still have the scrambler? Uh, you have the, you turn the scrambler into a booster. signal booster. Which I still probably need. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you need the signal booster. Still need the signal booster. Yeah, you don't need it for Mutt because you, you built Mutt to go out to longer ranges specifically yeah. for this reason. Um, but yeah, to use any of the other drones, you still need the signal booster. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, the small drone that I sent in with bait, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just have it sort of plug into the, uh, front desk and see what it can do from there. Okay. Um, so it plugs in. Give me a electronic security tech roll to get through the, the password protection. Nineteen. Okay, yeah, you easily get past the security. Um, from this terminal, you can turn the cameras back on because you notice that the security cameras in the lobby are off, and on C suite they're off. Good. Um, for some reason. <clears throat> I'm assuming Xenon did that. Potentially. Um, but from here, the only other thing, like you can contact authorities from here. You can. Um, contact people within the building, like other terminals within the building. Um, but it's not access to like the um, any like the private computers. Can I see if anyone is responding to the the call for uh, backup? Um, all you can see right now, because it just happened, is that the call went out. Can I kill it, like, or send out a error message? Um, you know, from this terminal, you're not you. This terminal wouldn't be able to do that. Can I see where that terminal is? It also went over the radio. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, can I... But yeah, you can tell from this terminal where the security office is. Yeah, where's that? It's two levels below C-suite. And that entire level is all security. Oh, shit. Can I tell from here how many people are on that level? Like, how many people batched in? Uh... Give me another roll. Stars. 19. Okay. So yeah, there are 50 badges currently active on security level. Can I lock that? Can I lock that can you, floor? Can you lock here? the door? Yeah, like, can, can, I you... lock, can I lock that floor from here? Yeah, give me a roll. And that will be what you're doing. Uh... 23. Okay. So yeah, you shut yeah, you shut down the locks, the, uh, the elevator access, the stair access. You shut that all down. Uh, I let my team know there's 50 guards. I've locked them on floor blah blah. And uh, do this fast. Okay. I'm the wizard, guys. Which bounces us to... Triple on a 15. So I think the first thing Triple's going to want to do is uh, radio or like communicate with Xenon and be like, yo, buddy, go do your thing. We're going to distract the gods that are up here. Uh, take you care of shit. Get a thumbs up back. Cool. Uh, and then she's going to step out of the office that she's in and she has ripped off the arm of her. I have to check which arm. Give me one sec. She has ripped off the left arm of her jumpsuit. Okay. And uh, 
she pops out her metal baseball bat that is in her arm, uh, okay. taps the bat on the floor to trigger the spikes, and she's gonna go hit the high-tech security guard that is right next to Mog. Okay. I, like, step forward to stand next to him. Okay, cool. She wants to yeah, hit that just... one with a baseball bat. Yeah, you move up and swing the bat. Yep. Just swing it around Mog, so Mog just gonna... Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's a melee, right? Yes, that is melee. That's a 24 to hit. Oh, you, uh, well, he can try to evade, because he does see you coming. Yeah. He needs to be to 24, you said? Yes. Uh, I don't think it's happening. Yes. No, no, he absolutely does not beat that with his D10 roll of a 1. Sick. Okay, let's, so, damage. Oh, cool. Um, so that's, uh, 10 damage. Okay. So you hit... But you can tell his armor just took all of that. Damn. These guys are wearing armor, uh, medium armor jacks. So they are, um, they are very well armored. Okay. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. He grunts, like, and you moved him. Yeah. But you didn't actually do damage. Okay. He's got crack throat. <clears throat> yeah, he'll feel it. It's like sure. the crab leg. Just keep cracking gotta, at it. He's got to keep cracking at it. All right, gauze, 14. Uh, Gauze is going to open up the door, and I'm going to immediately jump, jam the gun barrel, like, to the side of the other high-tech guard, mm -hmm. right in that crease where his helmet meets the neckline, and I'm just going to say to him, you try to slap that leather, your partner's going to get cherry cobbler all over his fucking helmet. And I've just got my finger on the trigger, and it's like the barrel is right in that crease. So if he does try to move, I'm essentially going to hold my action. If he tries mm -hmm. to move, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to threaten him to make sure. Yeah, I'm I like, get it. Yeah. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you just stay calm. Let us do what we got to do here and leave, and nobody has to get hurt. Uh, and if he tries to move, then I'm going to pull the trigger. Okay. Uh, all right, that was 14, so we're at a 12, which is nobody that you guys knew. 11, Rose. Well, she's going to come out of the room with her her, her pistol drawn mm -hmm. and just point it at them, because they're not, there's no one behind me. Like, if I come out of the room, there's no one going to ambush me, correct, that I know of? That you know of, no. There's a nice little standoff. Everybody point guns at everybody. <laughs> so yeah, she's just gonna come out of the room with her pistol <clears throat> drawn, pointing okay. it at the guards. Uh, mock, on a ten. Uh, so I'm gonna duck back into the office that Goss just hopped out of. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you jump in. The guard just kind of like, huh? Like, he can't react to you at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, you just gotta dive into the office. Mock just opened the door. Gauze opened the door, too. And yeah. also on a 10. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing anything else or oh, just no. diving in? Yeah. Okay. But then on a 10, the guards go and you hear a gunshot. I'm about to roll a D20 like this is a D20 system. Uh, okay. So, does. Mutt want to try to evade a gunshot? Yes. Okay. So that would be move? Or no, there's an evasion stat. Yep. 22. Okay. So Mutt tries to evade but gets hit. Okay. No, hold on. No, he... Does he get hit? Sorry, I was looking at the stats for the other... <clears throat> for the other guys. Thanks for the raid, Gehenna. Um, no, he does not get hit, because it was the guard shooting him, not the uh, heavily armed security officers. So, yeah, but he get Like, there's... You hear a shot ring out, then you hear another shot ring out, as two bullets tear up the floor. Kind of near Mutt. Um... 
Which one? Which one fired? Was it the high tech <clears throat> one or the regular guards? No, both of the regular. Like these, the the guy you've got the you know the shotgun to his neck, and the other guy haven't done anything yet. It was just the guards that you know the guard that just got attacked, got bit by the robotic dog. Got it. Got it. So they wanted to like the dog. Yep. Yeah, wanted to kind of like not get bitten again. Yeah. So, how dare he? All right, and that takes us up to the top of the round. Which is 18. Mutt. Is it Mutt? Mutt yeah. and the two security operatives. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Mutt is gonna try to grab that weapon in his mouth and yoink it away. Okay. Give me a. We're gonna have a little tug of war! Actually, give me a brawl roll for Mutt. 17. Okay, he's gonna try to evade. So, Mutt goes for the gun, and the guy actually manages to pull it back away from Mutt before he can get a hold of it. Okay. Alright, and then the operatives. And you just, like, yeah, you've got the shotgun there, and you hear, sorry, man, can't do that. As he, like, move, he's moving to, like, move the gun away from his neck, like, to evade it, and shoot at you. Pull trigger. Alright, yeah. roll. I hate to do it. I hate to do it there, Chief. He played my hand. Uh, to quote Heat, you do what you gotta do, and I'll do what I gotta do. And we'll see who makes it out. That is a nine plus. Oh, that was like a nine total? Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> nine plus 13. That is a 22. Yeah, so he he's moving. Yeah. But you just kind of track with them and fire. Mm -hmm. So roll damage. How do you like your pork, everybody? Smoke. Shredded. Shredded. Put some Let's extra make some sauce. fucking bacon. Let's make some fucking bacon, huh? Let me get some of that white sauce, though. That Alabama white sauce? Should have yeah. tried not to fuck around with your home invasion fantasy, my dude. Found a different <laughs> job. Six, six. Oh, that's 12 plus five is 17 plus four is 21 plus 3 is 24 damage for the first okay. shot into my dudes neck. all right so his armor soaks 13 of that damn so he takes damage and he goes down like he goes down from the force of the blast yeah totally ruining his act like he was gonna shoot at you but ruins his action because you just kind of like knocked him to the ground yeah and i'm just that. gonna say i'll waste anything that moves don't think i'm playing and then the other guy shoots you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or it tries to shoot you. Do you have a reflex of eight or higher? I do not have a reflex of eight or higher. That's going to be my okay. next... Oh, I can't. I can't. You don't think you can increase attributes here? Uh, You could boost it with um, speedware. Speedware. That's right. Yeah, there's two options Ooh. for the speedware that could boost it. Speedware. I don't know what your reflexes is. But... That's at seven, so that's something to look okay. into. Okay, so... If I don't die. Game I might be retiring God's stuff. <laughs> <coughs> Why can't I find his handgun skill? Uh, He may have missed you? Ooh. Surprisingly? Ooh. Yeah. Sorry, I've got to look up the... Uh... Too much karaoke with the boys last night, huh? With the Yakitori boys. Yeah, I'm gonna say he missed you because he rolled a 14, and I think that's too low for the range band that he's in with that handgun. Just because of how close you are. So that's what I'm calling it for now. So yeah, he fires off. Uh, not his handgun, his uh, assault rifle, effectively. And yeah, it just misses you. Um, so that was 18, 16. Bait. Small fly. Um, Bay is gonna get on the elevator and start heading up to All help right. out. No, wait, Bay. Uh, before that, uh, Bay's gonna go check out the terminal that the security guy was watching. Okay. Um, is there anything <clears throat> useful? <laughs> No, I mean, you look at the terminal screen, uh -huh. and it's just full of data, as you see, like, 
um, small fly was clearly going through the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you but should it's, just... Yeah, it's like zipping by too fast for you to catch anything. Mm -hmm. So, but you well, head up. Are she'll, you heading up? Oh, she'll watch it for a hot second. Okay. Just because her eyes are constantly recording. Mm -hmm. um, just in case they need to go through it later for any reason. Um, they probably won't, but it's more just like a, a backup just in case. And then she'll hop on the elevator to head up the C-suite. Okay. Uh, I am going to put my little drone back on Bates' lapel pin to travel with her. Okay. All right, so yeah, Bate, you start heading up the elevator. Yes. Oh yeah, he totally missed. He needed a 17 to hit you. So yeah, he totally missed with that shot. Um, <clears throat> Gauze. So that moves us from 16 to 15. Triple. Hello. I would like to hit another person with my baseball bat. Okay. I you think the, hit the, the one, one on the floor or the one that just shot the at golf? The one on the floor. Okay. That's a... Sorry, I keep losing that skill. Um, That's a 21. Oh, that hits. Yeah. He can't really do anything right now. Sick. Like, he's just gotten sprawled out on the floor, so... Ooh, that's even better. Um, that's uh, 14 damage. Okay. So you managed to get a little bit through. Not much at all. Um, so, yeah. He does take a little bit of damage with that. We are whittling down that armor jack, though. I'll tell you. Well, yeah. Because you... Yeah. Because now, now it's down to 11, it, right? Yeah. It's down to an 11 now because you've ablated yeah, it twice. Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Gauze, 14. I'm going to move my rifle while you're just sitting there wailing on this dude that's on the ground. I'm literally going to step over him and I'm going to move my gun into the other guard's neck. And I'm going to say, you want to try again? Huh? You feeling lucky, punk? I hope you're not lactose well, intolerant. I'll turn you into Swiss cheese. Yeah. Just shoot you're him not, already. Who gives yeah, you're a not, shit? You're not able to get, like, he'll move with you since, you know, it's God a firefight damn. at this All point. All right. Okay, I'm just going to fucking waste him then. Yeah, let, let me right. pull the trigger here. These fucking guys. I 100% appreciate the one-liners, though. Oh, yeah, no. I'm definitely... We're playing a character now. Uh, okay. Uh, what is a 10 on the die? Is there, like, a critical or anything like that with a 10 on... If I roll a 10? No? I do not believe so in this game. Yeah. Sick. Slick. Okay, well, that is uh, 23 to hit. Oh, that hits. Yeah. Fantastic. He, I am rolling very well tonight. He which, attempts to he attempts to evade and fails, which is because he that's can't not roll that good. high. Ten, Thirteen, seventeen. That is nineteen points of damage. Not as great as my last one, but no. But he takes damage. Yep, for show. Sure. All and, right, and I'm literally gonna like, kind of move and like, I'm gonna we're gonna cut the room in half essentially here. I want I want to cut the low tech guards and like keep them on their side with Mutt, and I'm gonna put myself in like in front of Mutt, and I want to keep the height. I don't want them to group together or anything like that, so they can like squat up or anything. I'm trying to keep <coughs> them separated, divide and conquer. Okay, so after you do that, small fly. It's not your initiative, but you get. Since you locked the doors, you get a like a warning ping that one of the doors on the security level has been compromised. Security's coming, guys. And that takes us to Rose. Okay, how many are still left? Uh, all of them. All of the guards, like the guards and the two security wow. officers, are all still in the fight. Um, I'm going to aim for the one that is on the floor. Okay. Go ahead and roll me some range attack, some handgun skill. Does a 15 hit? Why am I rolling so bad? Yes, it does. <laughs> Eight damage. Okay. 
Yeah, it just pings off of his armor. Yeah, you like step out and you're like, bang. <clears throat> Uh, that takes us down to the tens. Mock and the guards. Okay. Um, I'm going to peek out of the office and I'm going to fire my gravel gun at one of these guys' ankles. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm trying to knock them on the floor. Okay. Give me a All roll. Right. All right. So I guess it would roll like on the handgun. Roll. Yeah, roll on the handgun. Uh, that is a 19 okay so you fire he just kind of like hops up at the last minute and it just goes below him and he kind of steps on the cord mm. oh. feels bad man I know and then Mutt gets shot at two more times can I get some bras in the chat please can I uh evade yeah uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's a 15 to evade. Okay, yeah, he manages to dodge out of the way of the two handgun shots. Yeah. It's like they're fighting in so close, and he's just kind of, even though as big as he is, he's kind of like zipping in between. Oh, well, yeah, them. he's not a real dog. He's, you know, been designed for this shit. Man. All right, uh, back to the top 18. Mutt? Uh, so, what kind of gunnery do I have? For Mutt? Yeah. Mutt has his own heavy weapon skill. Yes, I see that. Oh uh, so do I just get to describe that? Uh, he has a flamethrower. Okay, okay, so that's what the heavy weapon is for. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to flamethrower these guys. Oh no, oh no. Uh, not doing that. <laughs> but, uh, he is a robot dog with a flamethrower. You wanted it. Now you got it. Yeah. Um. Maybe I should just let go with him. Yeah, like each one's like almost like it's more of a um, like a dragon's breath round that he shoots out from a shotgun. Oh. <coughs> In his so mouth. it's right. yeah, it's like an incendiary shot. If you okay. if you hit and exceed their armor. They will continue to take two points of damage every turn that they don't put themselves out. Oh, totally. We're doing that. Because I have four shots. So I'm going to try one. See how okay. that goes. Especially at this close range. Yeah. Twenty-two? Oh, that hits. Five D6. Yeah, it all gets a little bit warmer in here for a second. Okay. So yeah. That cuts through his armor. Oh. All seven of it. <clears throat> and yeah, so he is yeah, you hear the um the shot. Rose, you actually see this dog like shoot out a gout of flame from its mouth. And it hits one of the guys and he immediately like catches fire. And he's like, oh my god! And that's I mean, all, like, he's more panicking at this point because he's on fire. And then you hear, I am a good boy. And so the guy that you have down, like, that you just hit with your baseball bat, he tries to get up by kicking you as he's, like, getting up. He's trying to, like, sweep the leg there. <laughs> triple. Mm -hmm. uh, do you wish to die? Do you wish to evade? Uh, yeah. Okay. Where is that? Uh, it's a skill called evade. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Ooh, hell yeah. Uh, I got a 21. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you make it look too easy as he like kind of like he's getting up and sweeps out to try and knock your feet out from under you. And you just like casually move one of your legs up and like put it back down. It's gonna have to be quicker than about that, buddy. And the other one, uh, like let's go of the rifle 
and basically pulls out a knife and lunges at Gauze. Uh, do you wish to evade? You fucking know I can't. Roll that dice. He's stabbing you. He's stabbing you with a knife. I, you can evade that. I don't have a reflex. Oh, that's only for ranged weapons. Yeah, it's only for ranged weapons. Oh, to yeah. dodge a ranged attack, you need a reflex as evader better. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, well, bro, you didn't have to ask. Yeah, of course I'd like to evade. Um, yeah, like, yeah, like his gun is on a sling, so it just kind of fall, like falls to his side a little bit as he pulls out the knife and like lunges in. Oh yeah, I've got a base of twelve. Why would I not want to evade? That's like one of my best skills. Okay, yes. Yeah, so okay, they... you evade. Congratulations. I got a base of, with a base of twelve. I rolled a seventeen. He, he rolled a twelve to hit. Oh, okay, so yeah, okay. So it's like if you didn't do anything, he was gonna hit you. Yeah. If you just stood there and took it. <laughs> just fucking. <coughs> really, mate. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of like bat it aside. No. What the fuck are you even doing? No, shoot him again in the gut. <laughs> but yeah, his gun, that gun, and these close quarters don't really work out too well for him. Uh, so bait on a sixteen and small fly. Yeah, so you're riding up the elevator. Mm-hmm. Bing. So your your elevator opens up and you hear you hear gunplay. Yeah. But you don't see it because you're not coming out of the service elevator. You're coming out of one of the main elevator banks. Oh, great. Yeah. You uh, actually did have to transfer to a different one because the main elevator bank didn't go all the way up. Oh, to interesting. This level. Uh, I actually, while we were, which door to security was overridden? Like, do I know which way they're coming from? Uh, they're taking the stairs. Okay. Uh, well, I want to try to lock this elevator in place so they can't also come up from the elevator. Okay. Yeah, like once, uh, once Bait steps out, you can lock yeah. this elevator down. It's not a problem. Cool. All right, so yeah. You come out of the elevator, Bait, and you see, what you see are the four, like, you're in that hallway with the four big offices. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no guards. In this, like, in this one hallway. Um, so what do you want to do? And you you also got the notice to where... Um, Amanda office. Marquette's office Yeah, Amanda Marquette's office is. Uh, can you remind me where that was in relation to where I am right now? <clears throat> uh, basically, diagonal to your left across the hall. Oh, shit. Uh, Bates just going to go in there. Yeah, so, like... Uh, you have an access badge, so uh -huh. you're able to, like, you're able to badge in. Um, the but first she'll, thing she'll, um, is... sorry, oh, she'll go ahead, go ahead. open the door, and then she'll, like, kind of, like, stand to the side of it to see if anyone, like, shoots at her. Okay. Yeah, like, and then you she'll walk peek in, her head in. Like, yeah, you, like, open the door, move to the side and peek in, and you can just see Xenon behind the desk, kind of, like, feet up on it, like, tapping on the keyboard with one hand. Oh, hey. And then, like, two, um, like, wires coming out of their head plugged into the machine as well. I see you're already on it. You don't get a response. You also see the, um, the mask they're wearing. They, they just seem like they're downloading it, right? They're either downloading data or they're currently working through the net architecture mm -hmm. to get to the data. Yeah, but they're busy working. Yeah, they're busy doing something. They don't they don't look like uh someone came in, saw them, shot them and then left. Oh no. Okay. Like you see the <laughs> no, you see you see them typing. Oh, right. On right, the right, keyboard. Right. Great, great, great. As well okay. as they're jacked into the Yeah. Right. Um, He's doing his job and the rest of us are being uh -huh. very distracting. Um all right, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to go help the others. Keep up the good work, Xenon. Uh, You're doing great, I, buddy. I want to... Sorry. I want to send a message to just... Bait. Uh, should I stay with him? Yeah. Yeah, one of us should probably stay with him. Do you okay. want to stay with him, or do you want to go help the others? I'm also helping them. So... Oh, with I the think... drone. With the drone. Yeah. 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 Keep the drone by. Yep. Okay. So then, uh, after I lock the elevator in place, my intent is to 
have my mini drone stay and keep an eye on Xenon. Nice. And then Bait will head towards the sound of gunfire. Alright, that guy's getting replaced. And, and I'm not going to be, like, stealthy. I'm not trying to hide from Xenon. It's like, I fly in front of his face, mm-hmm. and then, like, I attach to his outfit in some way. <clears throat> so when the drone attaches to Xenon, it immediately gets an electrical shock and kind of falls down. I send him a text that says, ouch. Bad t- no touchy. You get a message back. All right. I, I sit it on the desk. But it can't move. It's disabled. He disabled your drone after what it landed on drone? him. Bastard. All right. In that case, if he's if they're gonna disable the drone, bait could just stay there. And keep yeah, an you eye didn't. But you you kind of left. Uh huh. And that's when that happened. So like you don't know that the di- drone was disabled. I'll let bait know. Yeah. So yeah, you get notice and you can stay there if you want. Okay. All right. So we're sixteens, fifteen, triple. So I think since the bat isn't cutting it, Triple's going to quick put the bat away. He just drop collapse it. it back? Yeah. It doesn't really take you any time so, at yeah, all. It just collapse collapse it back, it back to your arm. It just slides it into her arm, which now, like, the cover, the skin covering on her arm is gone. No, she, it's still there. It's still there? Oh, sick. Yeah. I thought it would, like, rip it's off. Like, no, it's like, a Luke, it's like a Luke Skywalker hand. Sick. It has, like, that little... Where you bring it out, it's got yeah, its own it's little, little skin. Sick. Yeah. Sick, so just a normal arm. Uh, she's going to pull, pick up her shotgun and shoot the guy who tried to leg sweep her. Okay. With a shotgun. So he's like halfway up at this point. So go yeah. ahead and give me a roll. Uh, that's a twenty. Um, you hit him. Sick. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, twenty-three damage. Yeah, he feels that one and collapses to the ground. Uh, then she sends through his. She armor. sends a ping to Xenon that says like, "Yo, let me know when you get the data." You get a thumbs up. Cool. You're not gonna get pinged. The motherfucker's gonna screw us over. Sorry, I just had to say that loud. I've been bottling it up. <laughs> bottling that tension up. Happy. Maybe you guys should have a net runner then, and then you don't have to work with mine. If you guys don't trust him so much. Uh, Gauze, you're on a 14. Gauze is gonna look over and, like, shoot the guy in the gut and look over and be like, if we wanted a Netrunner, we'd hire one. Won't you shut up about Netrunner? <laughs> well, you seem to have a problem with mine. Who's my friend? So and go I'm ahead and give me a roll to shoot to the this. guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why did I roll such shit against you guys? This is great. Uh, that is a 20. Oh, you hit him. Perfect. He rolled a two on the die to try to evade that. Jesus attack. Christ. Good luck, friend, though. That is 11, 15, 19, 22 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, you blow it, like, you blow part of his armor away, and you can see, like, your shotgun got through. Or you're, you're using a rifle or you're using a shotgun? Assault rifle. Yeah, it's assault okay. rifle. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see the assault rifle did some damage. Yeah. All right, uh, uh, and I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna start making my w- moving my way towards the service elevator. <laughs> like I'm gonna like kind of revolve, and I'm gonna start making my way like back down, okay. so that we can. I start mean, it's getting... easily, it's easily within your movement to get to because you're lit. I mean, you're still kind of standing right in that general area. The doors are open. Sick. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm going to put. Uh, <laughs> then I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna like start. I'm gonna get by the cart, and I'm gonna get ready to move the cart. Like to get in the way to keep the doors from closing or anything. If anything okay. goes off the hinges, yeah, it goes off the rails. All right. <clears throat> All right. So there's a fourteen. You all hear the sound of rending metal coming from further somewhere on this floor. You just hear like metal being wrenched, almost as if you hear a door being ripped from its hinges. Oh, fuck. 
is gonna be like Kill Bill. And we are to an eleven, which is Rose. Okay, so how many are left? There were two taken out, right? From... Uh, nope. There's still three. The two guards, which are fighting with Mutt. Okay. Yeah, one of them is on fire, so he's probably out of the fight right now. And then there's the one that uh, Goss had just shot. Well, we're gonna add more fuel to that fire and shoot the one that Goss shot. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? Oh, yes. And he's not going to evade because he really isn't paying attention to you. Yeah. 10 points of damage. Okay. So, yeah, you fire off, and again, it just kind of like plinks. Like, it hits his helmet and kind of just ablates and falls. He still has too much armor for that shot to get through. <sighs> 10. Mock. All right, which one of these losers got the lowest <laughs> armor? Uh, the one guy's dead on the floor. Okay, so and then the other yeah, one's dead. kind of engaged with um with gauze. Oh, I'm finna fire off on homie with gauze. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess since I'm using the assault rifle that we brought in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just. Was that shoulder arms? <clears throat> yep. Okay. It's just harder at this range to hit because you're mm -hmm. so close in, but yeah, it's shoulder arms. You're going to okay. need a 17. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you miss him and Gauze, a couple of rounds, like, like ping into the elevator where you are. Oh, fuck. Since you guys have kind of now, like, you're on either side of this guy shooting at him. Mm. Oh, yeah, we've got a fucking... Yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. What's that term called? Uh, the two guards... The one guy that's on fire uh, just kind of runs off. Trying to, like, pat himself down, screaming. Like, it looks like he might be heading to a bathroom. Valid. Uh, the other guy will also... Tr will try to shoot the dog again. All right. Make it evade. It do does Mutt wish to evade? Thirteen. Mutt does not evade the gunshot. Okay. Uh, it's just that kind of night for me. I love it. Uh, he takes eight damage before okay. any kind of armor reduction. Okay, so he has fourteen armor. Yeah, so he's fine. Yeah, the armor takes it. Yeah, yeah. Like the guard just kind of gets a like very defeated look on his face at this point. Like. All right, uh, back up to an 18. Mutt. Yeah, we're going to maul that guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's a, would that be a brawl? That would be a brawl. Uh, are you trying to... If you're biting or using the claws, it's melee. Uh, I'm biting. Okay, then yeah, go ahead. Like, when you were trying to take the weapon away, that was more of a brawling thing, because you're trying to, okay. like, grapple. Uh. Twenty-four. Twenty-two? Uh, yeah, you hit. Cool. Alright. Uh, seven damage? Okay. Yeah, he feels that one. Hold on, let me look something up real quick. Apologies, cast. Uh, my apologies to the cast. Uh, yes, when you roll a 10 on your D10, you get to roll another D10 and add that to your first result. Oh! So that is my fault. Now and if you roll know. a one, and if you roll a one on the D10, it's a crit failure. Sheesh! Oh. Now we know. 
Okay, my apologies. Now we know. Now we save the battle. You, Joe. So that was 18, uh, 18 for Mutt, 18 for the operatives. The one guy that's left will try to sh not sh Yeah, he pulls out a handgun at this point. Jesus fucking Christ, man. There's the point where he's got to <laughs> say, is it worth it? Is the pay check worth it? Um, this is like Gauze. a fucking... <laughs> Give me an... Uh, oh, gosh, you can't evade. I can't evade, only me melee. So he does hit you with his handgun. Fuck yeah. What do you get? Six points? Uh, 14. Fuck my dick. Oh. Yeah, at this point, like, he, yeah, he just, like, switches the knife into a different hand and pulls out a handgun and fires it at you. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. At some point, you just gotta give it a fucking rest. <laughs> Please. You say 14? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm still on the 32 out of 35 hit points. What the shit? And that takes us to 16, small fly and bait. Uh, Bait will send a message through her agent to Xenon. Okay. Saying, uh, like, ETA. Working on it. Fucking wrap it You just up. get back in all, like, in all caps, like, working on it. <sighs> Defense uh, is surprisingly effective here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and she'll send a message to the rest of the group saying... I'm with Xenon, they're downloading the info. Uh, hold out a little bit longer. Smiley face. The fucking smiley face. Mm. <laughs> okay. The slight, the slight smile. Small God fly? Damn it. Oh, what do I see out in the truck? Uh, like, from inside, like, just looking outside? Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Nighttime. <clears throat> Uh, can I send out another small drone just to sort of see if we have, like, massive amounts of security reinforcement coming towards the building or anything like that? Um, I mean, you, you, surely, you sure, certainly can. Uh, mm -hmm. You send the drone out. You don't see anything. Like, you send it up high so you can get kind of like a, mm -hmm. an aerial. aerial. You know. um, but you don't see anything. But, I mean, there were 50 badges on the security level that you saw, so... Yeah. All right. All right. Did you want to do anything else, or is that uh, your turn? I don't... The only other thing I can really think to do is send my... Try to see if I can get my drone, my little drone, <coughs> back into the front lobby so I can just keep locking the stair doors again. Okay. Uh... To just like be a pain in the ass. I mean, they're locked. I thought they unlocked them. <clears throat> no, they they no. The door was compromised. I it was it. not. Yeah, the, yeah. No, they, you, they forced like, their way in. Yeah, somebody just for and you heard through like you got feedback from Mutt that something just like ripped apart, like sounded like you know ripping apart of a steel door because you can hear. Okay, so there's nothing for me to lock. Uh, right. Then I'm I'm just gonna chill in the van and okay. uh, you know keep an eye. All right, so triple on a fifteen. Um. <laughs> um. Sorry, there's banter happening in the chat. Um. <laughs> so did I'm confused where Mock is now? Because her intent was originally probably gonna be to shoot the like tech officer guy who was still up with her shotgun but if she was going to shoot mock no so mock went into the office right across from the elevator okay gauze is in the elevator gauze is in the elevator the guard the operative is standing like basically between the door to the office and the elevator doors we have we have we have a crossfire going on yeah you have right yeah now. the two of them have this guy in a crossfire unfortunately 
each other as well. <laughs> just fucking dodging each other's bullets. Just like, okay. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna come up and fire on this guy with her shotgun. Okay. Yeah, you just raise it and fire off. Yeah, absolutely. Sick. Oh, that is an 18. Okay, um... Yeah, you hit him. Like, he knows you're there, he tried to duck, and just did not. Ooh. Sick. Okay. So that's 17 damage. Okay. Yeah, he, like, like, you know, you force him forward from the force of the blast because you're not that far away from him. Cool. Uh, you can see blood dripping down his back. Like, the um, armor's still there. He's still up, but, you know, he's hurt. Sounds good. She sends off a quick message to the group that's like, leave my Netrunner alone. Let him do his work. Okay. Alright. So, Rose. <laughs> yes. You're, like, still with, like, you're looking, like, you're kind of in a corner of the, where the hallway is. So, you can see down this hallway as well as, you know, where the fighting's going on with Mutt and the security, security officer and everything else. Um, but you see the door, like, you see a metal door kind of just go flying down at the Jesus other corner. Christ. And you see, basically, for lack of a better term, a ro what looks to you like a robot. A bipedal humanoid robot coming through this thing. Oh my fucking god. He's, like, ducking through as he comes in. Hey, uh, guys, we need to... <laughs> we need to wrap this up fast. And um... you just see he pulls out, like, <laughs> basically a weapon that would be mounted on the Humvee <laughs> and just starts moving toward, like, and swivels right towards you. No, so I... <laughs> just booking it towards... So the rest of you can see Rose, like, Rose is running towards you guys. And around the corner, for those of you who can see, so basically, triple. Uh, you see what I described, just, it's a, like, you being a solo and having seen people like this before, it's, uh, a, an individual with, like, board wear, got a, fr like, an armored frame, cyber, like, completely cybered out. And then you just see he has this <coughs> massive, it's a Browning 50 caliber, and he just unloads down the hall, like, just sprays the hallway. Like, you immediately just hit the deck, triple. Oh, oh yeah, she definitely throws herself on the ground, and she's like, well, we got a guy with a big gun here! Oh, fucking thanks for the fucking obvious. Yeah, let me wait on your fucking... <laughs> Jesus, yeah, let me wait on your fucking netrunner while I'm getting my ass <laughs> reamed by a fucking cyborg. Maybe bring your own next um, time. Jesus does does Mutt wish to evade? Uh, can Mutt use this guy as a meat shield? Uh, not really. So no. Uh, yeah, I mean, I will... this, guy, this guy is also getting sprayed, as is the security operative. I was about to say, I was like, I don't mean to um actually, but there is a section in the book that has corpse as armor. Uh, yeah, he's just not able to act. It's it's a it's a robotic dog. It's a drone dog. God, he's not okay, able okay, to. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it was one of you guys and you could like grab this dude, <laughs> then yes. You okay. could use him. Because like what I sort of had in my head was him trying to like shoulder the guy down, but uh, I will I will roll evasion. Yeah. I <laughs> rolled ten. Okay, so what? Not looking good. Oh, God. What? No, I rolled a 10 on the dice. Oh, I thought you rolled a 10 total. Like, oh, no, God, poor Mutt. No, He's dead. I was, so I add another d10, right? Yes. Okay. So 13 plus 12 is 25. Okay. So he only gets hit once. Cool. Oh, sorry. Hold on. He rolled a 10. I forgot about that rule. Okay. So he got... No, he got... Yeah, he rolled a lot higher. Um, so Muck got a 20... What? Uh, 25. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. So Mutt takes 20 damage as bullets just riddle him. That goes that takes out the last six of his armor. Well, armor only ablates once. Oh, uh, okay. At like one per attack. So one that twenty attack. Yeah, so that twenty damage just knocks his armor down by one more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're not subtracting um, it. Like from, oh, from armor. Yeah. I got you. If it surpasses the armor, then it knocks the armor down one. And and then it takes the, the leftover damage. Okay. As this thing opens up anybody on the floor like anybody like within this area so like gauze mock you immediately just like no for something like you know to take cover like yeah. you know to like duck down like get low yeah um as bullets just riddle this section of the office like you see the doors just get torn like torn apart the elevator gets riddled and like swiss cheesed the guard that you see just becomes a mist as like one round just takes his arm off, another oh one takes God. him out at the leg. Like, this is just, like, a gore fest at this point, as he just sprays everywhere. So does the, the Renacop. Oh my like, God. it's just, Mutt is now covered in security guards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do we, <laughs> what do we have for explosives? Geek Oyster. Real Geek Oyster. And that takes us to Mock. <laughs> and the guards. Who are now oh. dead. <laughs> there I go. That's 14. I'm okay. oh, sorry, 14. Yeah, I... Lonnie, Lonnie Rose got to basically run away for free. Got it. Okay, sick. Mm, so sick. kind of doing like Fantastic. a cinematic thing there, yeah. Got it. So, Gauze. Yeah, yeah, that happened. Um... Shit. Shit. You see sparks coming from the elevator? Yeah. Uh, is there a door to the left or right of me that's the stairs? No. This guy came up the stairs. <sighs> the stairs are, you know, Rose, you know where the stairs are, because that guy was come, just came up the stairs. Oh my god. Okay. This just changes everything. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and let's say, just for shits and giggles. Uh. <coughs> I'm really glad I have that. Um, I've got all my shit beside me. Look, I've got my shit on me, and I've got the cart beside me, unless the cart got ripped apart. Is there... Oh yeah, the cart. The cart is just plastic pieces. Do I see any of the flashbangs that we brought along with us, like that are in like the remnants of the cart? Yeah, there's a couple at your like. There's one or two at your feet. Uh, I'm gonna take one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to chuck it at this thing's feet, and I'm just gonna say, uh, "Eyes," to like those in the hallway. But yeah, I'm just gonna yell "Eyes," and I'm gonna chuck that flashbang at this guy's feet if I can. You definitely can. Okay, sick. So go ahead and give me throwing. <coughs> yeah, sick. Sick, 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 throwing. What is that under? Is that under fighting? Uh, no. as, you know, athletics covers it. Athletics? Sick. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Gotta do more chin-ups, my guy. Come on now. Uh, that is a 15. Okay, I mean, it lands there. Sick! It goes off. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, the whole room eyes. is... Yeah, yeah, it's just like... Poof. And the whole room is... Like, the whole hallway is just lit up. Um, bait. Um, small fly with the drone through the drone. You just see a huge flash of light. Bright light come from... And you've heard... You know the distinctive sound of a flashbang going off. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, Bait, Bait's just gonna run over there to help. <laughs> oh no, no, no. No? I mean, she doesn't know. 
she doesn't know exactly what's going on. It just sounds like they're in more trouble than Xenon is. All right, so you head out. Um, you're leaving the office. Do you go to your left or to your right? You know uh, the hallway wraps around on both sides to where the group is, to where the rest of the team is. To the left? Okay, cool. So, yeah, you run around to the left, and, like, you come around that, like, corner to look down, and you can just see, like, the whole, like, office walls, doors, just torn to shreds. Um, and you see what I described to the group earlier, that giant, effectively, cyborg with a huge gun. And it looks like there's a an ammo belt feeding it from his back. Bait turns around and runs back. Valid. Valid Bait has choice. Bait has a pistol and a knife. <laughs> the city is flying and I've got a bow. <laughs> I've got a bow and arrow. Bait is, Bait is not not equipped for a lot of fighting. <laughs> Legit. All right, uh that was I kind of went out of order here a lot. Um but yeah, so guards are dead. That happened, that happened. All right, uh, Mock, give me a go, and then we're just going to go back to the top of the order. All right, so basically what I'm looking at, right, <coughs> Homer's standing down a long hallway with the big joint. Mm -hmm. He just got flash banged. So, but we have to get past him, right? Effectively. No, you know the hallway... There's this oh. hallway runs completely mm -hmm. on the outside. So you could go that like he's over here. You guys mm -hmm. can run that way. But if you want to use the elevator, it's just directly across the hall. The stairwell mm -hmm. is basically all the way around. He's kind of standing in that corner so he can see where the stairwell is. Mm -hmm. But you know, he's focused on you. So you guys could run down the hallway mm -hmm. and then like take the long way around. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna lean out the office. Aim my grapple gun in the opposite direction that he is. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna grapple myself across the, <laughs> across over the hall. Amazing. <laughs> okay. So you're grappling across, like towards the other end of the hallway. Yeah. All right. Like cool. Away yeah. From give his me, a, line give of me a handgun roll. All right. Just don't roll a one. I know, right? <clears throat> well, you forgot to reload the compressed air. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, 14. Yeah. So, yeah, you, like, lean out, you fire it, and just kind of, like, Batman yourself down to the edge of the hallway. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. top of the order, Mutt and, well, nobody because they're dead. So, just Mutt. Uh. Oh, his program Defend Friendlies is activated, so I'm trying to decide the best way to defend friendlies. Uh, I guess he runs at the thing. Okay, he can attack it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> hit F for Mutt, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, he's gonna run at it. And, uh, actually, how tall is it? About eight feet tall. So could he, like, get under its legs? Um, yeah. I mean, he's the size of a Great Dane, so it'd be, like, it's gonna be about, you know, that height, but yeah. Yeah, he's gonna try to get under its legs, okay. and then what I would like to do, and I will describe it to you, and you can tell me how... How it will work, or if it would work. Uh, I want him to slide under this thing's legs, kick off the wall behind, and try to knock him over. Okay. Um, it would be very difficult to knock this guy over just based on, like, you're looking at him through Mutt's eyes, and, like, mm -hmm. physics-wise, this guy just weighs a fuck ton more yeah. than Mutt. Yeah. It is possible if, you, if the hit is, you know, hard enough. I'm going to try, because at least it might get him to turn around. Okay. Uh, and I'm, how does, if I spend luck, yep. how does that help? Declare how many points you want to spend, and before you make the roll. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be spending small flies luck, right? Yes. Yeah, Mutt does not have his own luck. Uh, 
I'll spend two, which puts me at four. Okay. And what does... So you just add two to your roll. Oh. With... Like a straight plus two? Awesome. Yep, straight plus two. Uh, what would you like me to roll? Brawl? Yes, this would be a brawl attack. Uh, 22 plus 2 is 24. Okay. Um, you do hit him. Yeah. So go ahead and give me, uh, just 2d6 damage. Ah, that's 12. Okay. So, much just kind of, like, bounces off of this guy. Um, but give me a body roll for Mutt. Uh, 15. Okay. So, yeah, like, Mutt bounces, and the guy doesn't even stagger as Mutt just kind of, like, falls to the ground. So that was 18. 16. So small fly and bait. Since so we just moved back to the top of the order. Uh, I don't think I have much for bait to do other than continue to sand guard for Xenon after seeing Big Cyborg. Okay. Uh, she's not fucking with that. She's gonna... Uh, protect, protect the net runner until it's time to go. <coughs> okay. Uh, then we are at a him roll. Don't worry. The, uh, the, the actually, triple. Runners. Nope. Yeah, him then triple. All right. I can't wait for our net runner to finish their game of Klondike. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Wes, you can see this guy now as he is Swiss cheese part of the elevator. Yeah. Um, you see, he, like, he brings up the left arm, and you see a grenade launcher pop up. Yeah. Aiming in your direction, and just thump. Uh-huh. That kicked the grenade back. Uh, no. I will let you evade heroically to dive out of this elevator. I assumed I got I, I, I got out of it when I was getting fired at, but apparently not. I'm still in it. No, you just kind of hit the ground and I'm grabbed a, a... Fucking dumbass. Yeah, let's do You hit do the it. ground and grabbed a flashbang, which doesn't seem to have affected this guy. Yeah, fucking frontline battlefield medic here, dude. Yeah, great. Fucking my insurance must be through the roof. Evasion, that's its baseline 12, so let's do it. Man, let's jam. Sick. It's a 20. Alright, so yeah, you get out of the way, like, of the blast. Yeah. Alright, the elevator takes 28 damage. And just starts falling. Great. Great. <coughs> uh, that, that flashbang didn't do shit to him, did it? No. Yeah, fucking... You, as a med tech, know that there are an easily installable cybernetic implant for uh, cyber eyes. It's worth a shot, man. You know. Look. When run. <clears throat> yeah. Third flat um, and and he starts place. moving down, and he moves closer down the hallway. Of course he does. Triple. Uh, yeah. Um, triple is gonna run. Yeah. Triple's gonna look at Gauze and be like, we should run for the roof. You gotta get out of here. What? <laughs> Do you have a better idea? The roof? Yeah, fuck yeah, great. I hope they have an ex stairs that go down. Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Do you have a better idea? No, fuck, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> I could just, like, bust, bust out a window and kill myself right now. There we go. <laughs> It'd be fucking faster. But all yeah. right, so, Triple, so, yeah. you start heading out. Yeah. Like, all right, so, Gauze, what are you doing? Uh, Blue Skadood, and I can too. Uh, I'm going to try to get the fuck up out of it. You said the hallway wraps around? 
Yeah, the hallway wraps around the the exterior of the floor. Uh, I'm gonna say 2,000 fucking eddies, and I'm just gonna fucking I'm gonna take a pot shot at this Adams this Adam Smasher looking motherfucker, and I'm okay. gonna fucking run. I'm gonna kick rocks and try to yeah. loop around. Uh, give me a roll. Uh, 17. That hits. Fuck yeah, hey, look. He's, fucking look he's there. A... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeepers. Look at here. What you know? The oh, jeepers. That's 12, 15, 18 points of damage. All right. So, yeah, that does not get through his armor. I yeah, fucking didn't think it did, buddy, but you know it's worth a shot. Uh, yeah, and, I, and I'm just gonna run. And it, yeah, and in a disturbingly human voice, you hear, that almost hurt. Oh, fucking great, yeah. Yeah, okay, how many rounds have I gone through so far? How many rounds of combat have there been? Oh, God, I don't know. Like even six, know. seven? Yeah, we'll call it six. Okay, so I'm at 19 rounds left in this magazine. Great. All right. All right, that was a 14. So we are at 11. Gauze. That's not me. Oh, I'm no, sorry, Rose. Oh, yeah. oh, she's she's running. She's following him. <laughs> she's not going to try nothing. She's like, nope. All right, Mock, you see, you see the guy moving down the hall, and you see both Gauze and Rose heading towards you guys. Okay, and I overheard, and I overheard them yelling about the uh, the roof, and so I just go roof right, and then I take off and bust through the stairs, try to bust through the stairs. Oh yeah, yeah, you start moving. <clears throat> um, and at this point, you all get a message from Xenon. Said, "Got it," and you're standing there. Fate, and yeah, you just see him like, you know, he kind of like springs up from the position, the sitting position he was in, mm -hmm. and he just kind of like does like one of those head nods towards the door to you and just bolts. Let's go. She's going to follow them. Okay. Yeah, I think when Triple gets that message, she just says roof. Where are we gonna go? Hey, grab my drone. <laughs> Lady, fuck your drone. <laughs> <laughs> is that the bait? Yeah. yeah I think that was the bait. Yeah, grab bait, bait will grab the drone. <laughs> Alright. So, on 18, you have Mutt. Uh, if everyone else is running, Mutt's gonna run to the stairs. Okay. Yeah, does Mutt take the short route? Because Mutt's actually... Mutt Fairly close right to the stairs. There. Yeah, Mutt's yeah. just going to bolt up the stairs. All right. So. Um, yep, yeah, so Mutt gets to the stairs. You see, you, you can hear from below Mutt, or, you know, in this case, small fly, um, guards coming up the stairs. Uh, then Mutt will position himself on that kind of landing and be ready to flamethrower. Okay. Uh... Bait, you're heading to the stairs. At this point, we're going to kind of cut to, like, a cinematic mode. Mm -hmm. Quick time event kind of deal. So you're all making, you know, making, you know, you're running towards the stairs. You can see this guy surprisingly fast uh, chugging behind you all. Um, and you can see the guards, like, coming up the steps, Mutt. Um, you get a message from Xenon as you're running. It's like, there's an AV on the roof. What? <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah. No, literally, I'm gonna go, what the fuck? How did you know that? And then just gonna get, like, and just <laughs> haul dick to the fucking, yeah, yeah, halt to the you get, Yeah, you just get a quick message back, like, I'm a net runner. it's what I do. Oof. This is yeah. why you bring a runner on your jobs, you idiots. Shut the, oh, shut the fuck up. Okay. Shut the fuck up. We don't shut have the fuck time up. for this. Let's as with that, running. well, yeah, I mean, you're doing this at, like, it's like, you oh. know, you're running as you're having this argument. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah just, so, like, just, like, in between each breath, go, shut the fuck up. Shut the yeah. fuck up. So, like, you're all up, like, you're all up. Um, 
the tail end is triple. Um, this guy's getting really close. What are you doing? Like, Mutt, are you heading up the stairs, Mutt? Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, like, uh, what I think I'm gonna do is have Mutt flamethrower, okay. and then, uh, the then I'll execute the command come home, which essentially, uh, just has the, the program, like, finishes uploading to the other unit, and, like, just, I'll build another one. <coughs> So, oh, doggy right. door. The program is doggy door. There you go. Excellent. So triple. Yeah, I think triple would stop at the door to try and make sure everyone else could get out first. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, you're the money. You're the money. You're the mm -hmm. money. So, you yeah. don't stop. So you all head up. Triple stops and fires, like you know, just to distract. Fires off a few rounds. Um, when you like what you see looking like the group looks back as you're you see triple is the thing raise its arm and fire another grenade off and basically around triple you see the explosion go off and they're like the ceiling starts to cave and you make it up to the roof and you can see the avs there spinning up And Xenon's just heading directly for the AV at this point. Yeah, I've got my gun out, and I'm ready to just fucking... If we've got to hijack this thing, I'll fucking do it. So, also, unfortunately, Mutt was also caught in the collapse. Crushed. That's fine. Doggy door happened. Uh... And yeah, Xenon kind of just gets right into the pilot seat and just jacks in. To oh the my AV. god, oh my god. Like, yeah, I'm gonna make sure everybody gets on board the AV. I'm like, running. Like, like waiting. Mm -hmm. Just waving everybody on and trying to see if maybe Triple got out. I don't fucking know. <sighs> That's the money. So yeah, Xenon pilots the AV. You manage to make it back to safety. Where do you... Where to, he says. Uh, fuck. Um... And you get a message, the van is fucked. The van is <laughs> fucked? So is the Humvee. <sighs> nice. Um. Alright. What's the fucking naval yards by fucking Ben Franklin Bridge? <coughs> Help I me. I think they're called the Navy Yards. Navy Yards? Yeah, Navy the Navy Yards? Navy, Navy Yard? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go, go nearby there. Some, somewhere uh, around You know, there. that's where General General Romero controls the Navy Yards. Fuck me. Uh, so that is definitely some place you do not want to go. Do not want to go. Uh, I mean, you can just take you into a combat zone. Ditch the AV and make your way back from there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you live, you live in a combat zone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Fucking All right, so yeah. Somebody he he basically, yeah, he... He pilots the AV, drops you guys off. So, I was in the van. Yeah, you drive away. Okay. He just said the van's fucked because it's, like, literally right at the building. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we we assume that you are, like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. I want to make sure that, like, I wasn't... Something hadn't happened. I wasn't aware. No, you're not hung out to dry. All right. Awesome. <laughs> um... You've been disavowed, sorry. <laughs> uh, Gauze is just looking at Xeon and goes, okay. <clears throat> but that, you see, he, like, uh, like pops something out of his arm, and it looks like a data chip, mm -hmm. and just hands it over, and just hands it. Is this my money? Is this my money? It's He's, not my money? He takes the mask off, finally. It's like, the data. The data? Perfect. All right. Who do I give this to so I can get my fucking money? And I take off, off the food. JFK mask. Yeah, he tell it, your fix like you know off your him. fixer. Off him. All right. Am I gonna get ten thousand? He just shrugs. What are you gonna do? Leave. Just gonna. Let's just go. Nod. Yep. And just start walking. <laughs> start hoofing it. All right, with that, the AV takes off. Motherfucker. It's 
fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. I hope you know it's fucked. Nobody, nobody told it. So you make your way back to Club 80s. Yeah. <coughs> and you, know, you, you go to Afu. Um, he's like, so what happened? Uh, nobody said that there was going to be a fucking Borgware there. Full frame. Well, that, was on, that would have been on your employer. Well, employee's fucking dead. But we, and then hand over the data. He's like, well, at least you're getting paid. Triple was smart enough to wire the funds before the job. Like 8,000, right? Yeah. 10,000. Split amongst five. Oh, uh, okay. Because like, it really was 10,000. I was just checking to see if you were. Right. You motherfucker. You fucking <laughs> awful. Mm, I would shoot you if you weren't paying me. You fucking piece of shit. Oh, you oh, fucking. A little, a little comedy to break the tension uh, after a job. A little comedy, yeah. Oh, I'm going to get so <laughs> fucking wasted tonight. I'm not even going to fucking. So yeah, he hands you, he transfers the creds to all of you. Thank you. Kindly. Dearly. Thanks, Apu. Thanks, oh. Apu. Uh, have you heard anything about the the guy that was following us I asked you to look into? <clears throat> Not yet. Okay. Just what I told you before. I'm still digging. Cool. Thanks. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, that, that triple... Less. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you gotta talk to, but you might want to talk to somebody because uh, fucking dead. Thank. Like... Hazard of the job, unfortunately, Mono. Fucking. I gotta go see a man about a fish. <laughs> and with that, he like pours a glass of, you know, sent the hall like to triple. He just takes a shot. Triple. And that is where we will end the game. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so at this point, yeah, uh, all my players, go ahead and let everybody know where they can find you next and what you are up to. Uh, all right. I'm Derek. I am Mock the Tech. Uh, you can find me everywhere at the Phasing Octopus, except for Twitter. It's just phasing octopus is under my name. Um, if you are in the Birmingham area, I have a show. I will be at Saturn on Tuesday, December the seventh. Um, it's me, Ranger, uh, Du Jour, Kentucky First Post, and someone else. I can't remember their name. Sorry, but it's gonna be a strong lineup. But uh, other than that. I may do a random Shin Megami Tensei 5 stream this week on Twitch, but that's it. And music everywhere. There's music everywhere. Hello, I am Lon He, um, and I played, tonight I played Rose, the rocker boy. You can find me on Twitter at Lon He 10 and Twitch at Lon He. Um, and every Monday, you can see me on TTRP Theater's Fractured Mist, City of Mist campaign playing Scarlet Ray. So, and you can see me also here every other Saturday. So, yeah. Hi, I am Rosie, regular size mom. You can find me on Twitter at mom underscore size. <coughs> and you can find me every Thursday and Sunday over on Vocal Tales. Uh, you can also find me for the next few Thursdays over on Wartlet Games, uh, playing Vampire in our game, Psychopomps Incorporated. Uh, Zoe is also in that with me. Uh, we're a bunch of Hakata, and it's awesome. Uh, the first three episodes are on YouTube, so check that out. And you should look for me at PAX Unplugged. I will be running games for Gehenna Gaming. So come play something with me. Hi, I'm Zoe. I've been Bait the Media. You can find me at Twilight43 on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the social medias. 
Uh, you can also find me, as Rosie said, over on Martlet Games uh, every Thursday for the next couple Thursdays with Sega Pumps Incorporated. The Hakai game was a lot of fun. Also, starting next Thursday, uh, so the last three thir- No? Not next Thursday. Next Thursday is PAX Unplugged. That, oh, okay. That is just a difference in how... Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Upcoming Thursday versus yeah, Thursday. This, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. The six, Starting on the 16th, sorry, um, will be uh, actual play of Riley Rethel's The Riot Starts, which is a Hades Town based TTRPG that I will be facilitating. Um, and that is, and I'll also be at PAX U. Awesome. I am Dave. I, you can find me Twin Dad Tweets on the Bird app. Uh, you can see me next uh, Tuesday nights over on Vorpal Tales playing in both Twilight 2000 and Mecha Hack. Um, and then on Friday night, uh, you will not see me Friday night because I will be at PAX U running games as well. I will be running Call of Cthulhu, Alien, the RPG, and Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so if you're there and you want to play some of that with Gehenna Gaming, sign up. And that's me. Hey, everyone. Uh, Leslie here. Uh, Leslie Wombat on Twitter and all that jazz. Uh, thanks for having me, everyone. Um, you can find me Tuesday for Comfort Sickle. Don't know what we're going to play. Probably Prey. Maybe I'll go back to Animal Crossing. I was having fun with Animal Crossing. It's hard to say. Um, it's, a, it's a wild ride. Um, and then you can also find me at PAX Unplugged. I will be running Call of Cthulhu, and I will be running Kids on Bikes. So definitely come check that out. Come hang out with us for Anna Gaming. Um, yeah, and then that's it for me, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> and hi, I'm Wes, Wes Franks, founder and creative director of um, Karen Cover Studios. Uh, we have, coming up this week, tomorrow night, uh, we have another solo session with uh, Mezzanine Alpha, our Lancer RPG system. This is uh, episode five, Exchange, and we're going to be focusing on the character of Riker Choi. Uh, and then on Tuesday we have Comfort Sickle, and then we have Camp Half Blood after that, and that is our last stream of the week because we will be at PAX Unplugged for the rest of it. Um, I'll be in uh, Philly for the rest of the week. Uh, Friday, come and see me. I'm running um, Vampire the Masquerade that day, and I'll be at the Gander Gaming booth and all that jazz. So come check us out. We will have stickers and buttons there. Uh, you'll see the designs when you get there, but they're very very cool. Uh, uh, did a did a little collaborative thing with Nick there and made some some cool stuff. So check that out. Uh, come shake some hands, say hi to me, all that good stuff. And then on Saturday and Sunday afternoons at two p.m. or three p.m. I I gather one of the two. I'll be running Alien the RPG. I'll be running an um, some unpublished scenarios there. So go and uh, check that out. Come and sign up for one of those games. And at ten a.m. on Sunday, I have the distinct honor of being able to showcase the new Power Rangers tabletop role-playing game system from Renegade Game Studios that's coming out soon. Uh, I'm a big fan of Power Rangers and Sentai shows. Uh, they're fucking awesome. They're rad. Uh, and I cannot wait to share that love with uh, those that want to be able to tr get their hands on this system before it's been being released. Uh, we're going to be running through a scenario uh, that is a little bit of concoction. It was written by Renegade Game Studi Studios, but I'm putting my own little twist on it. It is going to be set in Angel Grove. Uh, it will have Alpha and Rita Repulsa and Goldar and all your other favorites like Zordon. So definitely set in like the Mighty Morphin era. So uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, come check it out. And uh, follow me on Twitter at BrotherXWest and all that other good stuff. Uh, come get a picture of me. I'll be dressed as Sailor Jupiter at one point during the con. So come get a picture and all that good stuff. Nice. All right. And once again, thank you to my audience for watching thank you all to my players for playing i had a blast as always with you and i hope everyone had fun tonight um and remember folks comfort comes soon <laughs>